Hello and welcome everybody coming in to the CVFR squadrons after yesterday's 2v2 it looks like uh, we will see a 4v4 tonight coming up uh, with um, Tuvi Munzingi and Lezoni Tonings Roses I did uh, look a little bit uh, on the score sheet over here and I do have to say they are fighting for that slot in the CWC I believe we're gonna have uh, quite a bit of um, incentive over here for Tuvi Munzingi to get the win uh, over Lezoni Tonings roses of course i'm pretty sure the pink platypuses will not give up without a very big fight good evening Mug oh Mug Ace. good evening sir and welcome pmf news or the cafe better and of course always a pleasure to see you on the stream here good evening madam madam uh Gary anthony good evening sir and welcome uh, i do hope uh, you're gonna uh, definitely enjoy tonight's uh, show and uh, thank you so much for picking up that first promotion uh, Finn Maron asked me to not drink water this stream he is like you know not he, it, the stream didn't even start and he was like no no water for you bro uh, psh, uh, <laughs> okay okay I got it I got it Finn it's all good bro it's all good I got my coffee over here you know it's still it's still something I'm gonna try to hydrate myself with anything else other than water <laughs> It is what it is. Uh, and yes, um, we're still waiting for the last player to join uh, the lobby. And I don't think uh, they actually decided the map over here. It's a map to be decided. Uh, and from what I can see, uh, we do have um, uh, one player. Yeah, one player needing to join. Uh, I, I do believe we're also going to have a new streamer. Uh, Pulp is going to stream for um, the French community. So uh, give her a big wel welcome if you want to uh, jump on her stream. Definitely be my guest. Um, it's um, Yeah, there we go. She's offline right now. Wow. No stream start. No. Come on, Pulp. You got to start up that stream. <laughs> oh, you got gotta start it yeah, let me actually um take a look over here on uh, the score sheet i want to put it on the screen give me a second so i can actually uh, drag it uh, on the main screen uh there we go uh boom this one i believe this one yes this one so we do have ulysses of course leading the way over there with 11 wins and one loss nobody is gonna get them away from that cwc slot we do have Fredito's de la vega coming up with 10 and 2 they're also playing right now if i'm not mistaken uh you can check them out on mam stream uh black Petra is coming up with nine wins and four losses uh, definitely a lineup uh, or a good chance for them to be in the cwc over here and I do see uh, the SAS team comes up with 7 and 6. The big the big point is Les Summer Rangers is right now tied with Tuvi Monsingi on the same number of uh, games played, on the same number of uh, wins and the same number of losses. They will need to do something to uh, separate themselves in the next few um, uh, days and weeks, of course. Uh, we're going to need to see how they're going to do this. First, Tuvi Monsingi is going to play uh, Les Summer Rangers. We got this uh, game being played out uh, tonight. Uh, and from what I can see over here in the games that need to be played, we do have Les Summer Rangers um going against lucky nuke there is a there is actually a very strong possibility less Sumer rangers will get uh, a win over lucky nuke so they're still gonna be tied can we imagine that we're gonna need the tiebreaker here <laughs> definitely tiebreaker what face good evening sir we got angie chibi in the house hello sir hello hello <laughs> also uh, let's see what's going on over here our uh, beans i can't watch two streams at the same time only have one monitor at the moment the new one will arrive in two weeks two weeks oh my okay that's a long time to wait for something that's a very long time it feels like do you guys see how time compressed actually uh, it's so long like we're, we're getting so used to not waiting for stuff and like you know have it now we, we want it now we don't want it later we want it now oh my god it's it's quite uh, digital era and digital era uh, everything at your fingertips why would you wait for an episode to come out weekly when you can just binge it you know <laughs> like oh my god just go for it bro let's like, just watch it uh, oh my uh, yeah yeah i don't know I'm, I'm sorry i'm going for a rant over here now definitely the digital era is um yeah, doing us um a little bit of a favor with uh, so much uh, content around uh, looking at uh, the chat over here it looks like they're missing a dude emergency uh, emergency sub <laughs> okay I can play, I can play, let's go. Uh, we got on one side, I believe, uh, Apul, Votero, uh, Novak, and 
oh that it's still missing one uh, is that oh no let me actually take a look over here uh, in the channels maybe we will see who's uh, who's there let's see who's in the channels who's in the channels oh there we go two four six eight so they're eight wait they're eight what is those so it's uh april novak oranzi oh oranzi is the fourth one okay and vodero uh, swap with uh, Bamaki, okay. Ah, no, swap with... Okay. Okay, there we go, we got Tamlin in the house, let's go! So, we got the pink platypus is going against the boys with the muscles. Tuvu Montingi coming up today with uh, Bamaki, Petit Pascal, Tamlin, and somebody called Monsieur Sisi. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I hope uh, they're gonna get going. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Spite is very powerful fuel. <laughs> uh, Amazon good has delivered faster, but Amazon also suddenly made it more expensive when I wanted to order, so I accepted into two weeks wait out of Spite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I> know. <laughs> yeah. True, true. It's a, it's quite an incentive over there. Uh, let me actually take a look. There we go. Okay, so now we're going into the map pool choices. Um, I do have to point out two maps are almost always banned um, in the CVFR squadrons. So they are doing the ban according to the most played map of the previous week and the last week. It was, to no, nobody's surprise, Highlands and Seven Seas. So uh, those actually got banned. Now we're going to have a game between... Oh, wait, Highlands looks like it's not banned this uh, week. Highlands and Pangea. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to play Highlands. Uh, looks like I got a bit of um, wrong information about one of the maps. The other one I nailed, Seven Seas. But anyway, it is going to be uh, Highlands as a choice tonight. And we do need to put it up on the screen over here. Let me actually take a look. There we go. Highlands. Uh, there we go. We got we got a long game going. Like we, I gotta say, yesterday, very quick stream, 30 minutes, bam, 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 and they got a win. Tonight, we're gonna have between Les Ornithorings Roses and Duvu Monsingi, a totally different game. 4v4, we got them fighting each other on the Highlands map. It's gonna be a lot of hills, a lot of simming done. And at the same time, we're going to have a lot of action, but quite packed in a few turns. Definitely, we do need to see how they're going to spawn, how they're going to try to um, get advantages from picking the correct civilizations and banning the other ones. We do have over here uh, Rome uh, coming up as the first ban. Very interesting that we see Rome uh, ban first. Uh, next up uh, looks like uh, it will be uh, Coupe. Uh, Coupe on Highlands actually is a must ban. I do believe we're probably going to have a must ban on Ethiopia. Nobody wants to handle that amount of um, Oromo on the map. Oh man, <laughs> Oromos. Oh my god, they're not banning it. Are they forcing a ban? Check this out. Is, are they actually going to play chicken? with uh ethiopia what do you think guys no okay so you know, like you know what <laughs> they're doing it they're doing it. i honestly i wish i see this more often on um on uh, highlands uh players actually trying to play chicken with uh ethiopia <laughs> trying to force their opponents to pick it <laughs> or uh, actually to ban it you know uh anyway um start banking bona sera domnule bona sera bona sera uh, also get entry wait are you so sad about the highlands bro no no um okay It looks like they took out an extra wonder for no good reason, but it is what it is. Uh, busy summoning Melina. Ooh, wait, really? You're summoning Melina? Very good. Thank you so much for the follow, but who is Melina? Is she some kind of um, spirit? Is she doing magic? Mm -hmm. who, who Melina? Who Melina? We need to know Melina. I remember that one time uh, Ethiopia got through on Highlands. It was a very quick game for the Highlands map. Yeah, Menelik never played. Yeah, I, I know that FIFA, but I know. But it's, it's auto-banned instantly. Like, it never gets in the Highlands, you know? Like, the players just don't want to handle it. We do have Mali also taken down. And the goals. Oh, man, Artic Uzi would be quite uh, sad with this. I hope uh, he's actually going to get his pleasure and... Um, Take, take a look at these, um, I would say, uh, 
take a look at these streams when we do have the goals. Uh, Bamaki coming up with uh, Pawn Maker as the first choice. Apul is come up, uh, gonna come up next uh, with uh, another choice here. Uh, looks like uh, also Vodero is gonna need to come up uh, right next to him. Give me a second so I can. Uh, oh, oh, I see. I need to I need to tickle my uh, speakers. Give me a second. Uh, there we go, I tickled them. Uh, April coming up with Victoria, we got Votero coming up with uh, Peter, looks like uh, they will get the culture, they will get the gold. And of course Petit Pascal is gonna need to pick up that uh, second um, civilization. I wouldn't be surprised, oh my god, he's actually going Frederick Barbarossa, this I didn't, I, I am surprised about this pick. I wanted to say I wouldn't be surprised if we see something like Pericles being picked up over here uh, because Eleanor is not allowed, Corgo, eh, kind of iffy, you don't really want to do the culture defense with Corgo. Um, there could be others that would do well with the culture defense, Vietnam for example, but uh, still Pericles shines, outshines everybody uh, straight up. Uh, it does have a big problem when it comes to the science, but everything else when it comes to the culture is... Hey, okay, we don't need to see uh, if Petit Pascal is actually gonna lock in the big Frederick Barbarossa. No, he's switching, last second switch on Japan. Japan could actually put up uh, quite a bit of a defense in the culture as well. It does get that um, extra um, adjacency for the theater squares and the half course theater squares. It can just put them all over the place. Uh, spam them, spam them, go settle my babies, go settle. Of course, uh, Apiol is gonna need to be banning next, coming up in the second uh, wave. Uh, does look like uh, we're gonna have quite, uh, quite a story tonight being told on this map, on the Highlands map. Did you guys see the Fire Axis stream? There was a fire axis stream like a few a few minutes ago. There was big fire axis stream. Did you guys see it? So I I don't I don't want to talk you know all alone about it. I'm still gonna talk about it, but I would really like to see if anybody saw it. You know, uh, undead uh, undead Ab abyss. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Midnight Suns came. Uh, it's coming out second of December. Get your toys ready. It's gonna be single player. They show them. They got us a preview. They uh, also got a dev on screen to tell us uh, their opinion about it and so on and so forth. And what did they do? The challenges and the, uh, explain to us the mechanics. Answer questions for from the. Oh my God! It was amazing. Fire Tiger Page, hey, good evening, ma'am. How have you been? Long time no see. You're enjoying the sunshine. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, there we go. We got fire back. Hello there, ma'am. We do have uh, Spain coming up um, in the band phase. It looks like uh, also Kublai China is going to come up uh, in the eighth one. And uh, two more choices to go. We'll see how this ends up. Uh, I do want to put up uh, really quickly the prediction, by the way, uh, how many remaps, because we do have the Highlands, and I do believe we're going to have uh, about 10 minutes, uh, so I'm going to put it 10 minutes, let's go, let's go. April is on his uh, last band, Bamaki is also going to be on his uh, last band. Uh, we do have quite uh, still a lot of uh, simmers uh, on the table uh, for this game, uh, Canada hasn't been um, taken out, we don't have... Um, Oh, wait a second. I'm actually curious. Are they gonna go something like Korea? Ah, maybe some Korean enjoyers over here, you know, Canada. Very nice, very nice. We do have uh, quite a few options on the table. We haven't seen Arabia in such a long time. Maybe we're gonna see some uh, somebody sneaking those tanks at 1065 or something. Come on, you gotta do it. Anyway, I guess uh, they're, they're waiting for it. They're waiting for it. Just came to say a quick hello. Was thinking of you guys. I hope you're all well. We're all well. Thank you so much, Fire Tiger Pete, for uh, joining us. And I do hope. Uh, I think I speak for everybody when we all say um, we hope you're also very, very good, and uh, you're doing very nice, very nice. Getting a tan at the sun. We got. Um, 
Hungary coming up in the 10th choice and uh, by the looks of it now they will need to go for the picks here uh, taking out Hungary is quite interesting especially on this map uh, of course no more chaos maker on the map the chaos dealer over here uh, Hungary with its ability to um, just levy so many city states and send those armies towards uh, his opponents was taken out now uh, we do need to see what um, Monsieur is gonna go for I think this is actually Orancy is he Orancy is Monsieur CC is he is he Orancy? Is anybody can any Frenchy in the house that can confirm Monsieur CC is actually Orancy? I'm not sure. Should I call? Well, I guess there's no. Is there another way of pronouncing this? I guess C is uh, C. <laughs> you know C. Oh man, he's taking his time to play. Oh yes, Cyrus coming up from him. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, I do have to take a look over here at the gold generation. It does uh, definitely look like they're preferring the gold generation over everything else. Uh, only Peter is the one uh, taking away gold from his teammates, not actually um, putting uh, the work. Uh, but of course, Victoria will get the gold, Pound Maker get the gold, extra trade routes, we got Hojo. With the harbors, Cyrus, extra trade routes, and of course, um, those amazing gold points coming up from his internals, the culture. Oh, that's gonna be great. We do need to see um, what they're gonna go for. And yes, yes, we do have Seodog being picked up. It wasn't banned. They went for something else, and Tamlin did figure it out. We do have those Hawacha about to come out to the map here with the seons with the Hawarang and the bonus over here for the three percent culture and science for each promotion they have earned can you imagine oh my god then we can actually get a quite a few interesting uh, picks over here uh, from uh, korea uh, tirhab is gonna go for taido he is gonna pick up uh, Phoenician with the uh, uh, cothons and of course uh, that uh, very very nice uh, extra production to the settlers uh, so happy to see you again. I hope you will. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, CC is the abbreviation of uh, C at uh, Suleiman C, uh, if and only if. Oh, I see. Uh, this app is being uh, screened on my phone, so uh, taking a while to message. Wait, what? No. I hope not. Early November, it is not sure uh, yet uh, whether TTube will be in with his team, but I hope they will make it. Oh, did you has problems? Oh no! I hope he's gonna make it though. And Novak is gonna go for Lotaro coming up uh, next. We do have the new Lotaro. As you can see, um, still the plus five, but now the Manor Raiders uh, only have. Uh, yeah, don't actually get uh, the free pillages that much. Uh, they they can't pillage everything anymore. Okay, now we do see the lobby unlocked. We do have everyone in the lobby. I do want to quickly take a look at the zero MSs, but I hope everything is fine. Yeah, I think everything is fine. Uh, Bamaki say he preset and uh, still 28 wonders. Wait, is it? Yeah, still 28 wonders. Uh, and then he's saying he's, uh, he wants to swap and uh, recount. Mm. Also, he's asking. Um, I see over here, uh, Oransi asking for uh, the names of the teams, please. Okay. Justice, good and up, and how are you doing, sir? And welcome. Okay, I think uh, we're just uh, there. We go seconds away from uh, seeing this uh, through, and there we go. We started uh, the countdown, so we're gonna start up the game in just a few seconds. Uh, they do have uh, two remap uh, tokens, one each, and uh, they will pause a turn eight. And we're gonna need to see if uh, they do want to uh, use that remap token or not. Um, of course, in the meantime, we're 
we're gonna need to see uh, what the map looks like and uh, if they do have chances uh, or if they would uh, like to uh, take a remap here we're gonna have to guess this and that's why i put um uh, remap vote going on actually right now it's a one and a two most of the um, viewers over here voted in either one or two remaps interesting uh, choices honestly i wasn't expecting this i was expecting it more to be towards the nun you know not the uh, other ones but it, it is what it is uh, also, Kacheka saying immediately to remaps for sure. Hello there, sir, and good evening, good evening. We're going to have to uh, take a look here. Highlands map coming up uh, tonight. And of course, we do have a lot of land for them to settle. Uh, we also do have uh, quite a few lakes over here, inland seas that they could go for with... Uh, with their um, coastal civilizations, England coming up with Oransi as the first one to talk about. He has an, oh my God, such a big one. Oh, this is big. This is big. A bit of a problem for Korea. He's going to be on the same coast as uh, England. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to fight uh, England coastally. Doesn't really have a choice to move away from there. Uh, and of course, it's not ideal. This actually might be a remap for uh, Korea from what I can see. It's not ideal. Not ideal to have Korea coastally. Now, of course, we do need to see um, England also getting quite a few cities to the north and to the east. I saw his uh, second continent is going to be east side, actually, towards the Korean um, uh, side. Not going to be easy to settle though, you can see um, there are mountain ridges to the south and to the north that uh, do block him from uh, settling that many cities and of course we're going to see how he's going to play around this. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, he's, he's going to have the red coat ability against his opponent, the plus 5 on his boats against Korea. Uh, do we have anybody in the south? Yes, we actually do have Russia in the south. Looks like he's going to have uh, two deer tiles in the capital uh, with uh, multiple um, other cities on the east side. Not that many mountains, but definitely can work them. And I do like the amount of tundra he has. A uh, decent amount of flat tundra mixed in with um, also forest. And of course, uh, you see the um, hills over here. That's going to be quite uh, nice coming up, of, even if he wants to go for um, Dance of the Aurora, that is an option. You always want to have more options. Looks like zero remaps rate. Really? You think he's going to actually be there? Uh, do you want to see something? Yes, I do want to see something. I always want to see something. I'm a very curious person, by the way. Uh, wink, wink. Uh, Mapuche and Konya. Uh, squadron has no chill. Yeah. Well. No. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. England. E e oh my God. This is going to be a problem. Uh, anyway, coming up uh, to the east side, we do have uh, Bamaki with Kree. He's going to have one, two, three, four. <laughs> Why like this? Five. Oh. Is he going to give up on this pawn? That's what I'm thinking. Is he actually going to give up on this pawn? Mickey Sivwachi coming up with five pashers in the capital. Is he going to give up on this pawn? So, Korea may survive over here. Tamlin does have a decent amount of uh, tiles that he could place those that so on. Not amazing ones, though. Uh, and, as, of course, as you can see, uh, he is probably not going to find out he's going to be on the same coast as England. But there's always a chance. There's always a chance. Is this a C? Let's see. What C is? It's a Reich C. Okay. Well, I guess he doesn't know about that one. Okay, now let's take a look in the south. Do we have anybody? Anybody? No, we do have Pamukale. Pamukale. Let's see Japan. Tidhub coming up uh, with uh, Warrior. Okay, now I do see he is going to get to the silt tile. He's actually going to go for the rice settle with that extra food. He's going to get the silt tile work and going to expand much faster with the extra culture. And I do see him putting in production a scout. Uh, that extra point of food that is extremely important makes your pop grow in three and not in four, uh, makes it quite valuable later on in the game we do have him with uh, quite a few cities uh, along this coast to the southwest and to the northeast uh, and from what i can see that's a decent amount of land inland as well to the east side uh, doesn't actually need to worry about anybody for a long way For a second over there, I thought uh, to the north he actually has Spain, but this is uh, Persia. And of course, uh, Persia over here is going to get his 3-2 uh, bananas. I do see he could have actually went for the coffee settle. Uh, he chose uh, to actually be closer to the food, to the bananas. And of course, uh, you do see um, he has a 2-2 base. Uh, very nice city on Mount Vesuvius. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a freshwater city. And if he does want to go coastal, he's going to have to fight Japan for it. Not really an ideal situation you want to be in. Now, of course, we're going to 
well, I need to see how this is going to play out. Now, uh, there is also Novak over here coming up with uh, the southwest uh, with a reef tile in a lake. Very interesting how a reef actually gets to uh, develop in a lake, but it is what it is. Uh, we do have him with uh, quite a few tiles um, to expand, and I, honestly, I don't like the lack of fresh water here. Like, th this is so little fresh water for him. I see one, two series, and that's it. Then no other series. He's gonna need to walk like 10 tiles, or eight, t eight to 10 tiles uh, to actually go for that Northwestern Lake. One on the east side that's gonna be quite close to Mapuche. Nobody wants to handle that. Come on, let's be real for this. You know, you don't wanna be that close. It's gonna be quite a problem. Mount Vesuvius, though, it's gonna be nice if he does manage to get there. Yes, it's gonna be nice. But other than that, this is this is just awkward. Uh, Persia, Lesoni, Tonings, Roses might actually want to um, ask his teammates for a remap here. We do have Vengulu Mapu coming up with a 2-2 base. It does have quite a bit of um, breathtaking appeal over here. He does have between the mountains a few spaces that he could use uh, for that Shemamul. Unfortunately, oh my god, the diamond tile just blocks a very nice campus. Uh, I do see he's going to have quite a few others. So that's not going to be that big of a problem. He, he does have fresh water from quite a few one-tile lakes to the northwest, east and west. And also his river in the capital doesn't have to worry about this uh, kind of stuff and uh, that's gonna be nice that's gonna be nice uh, let's uh, uh, are these all oh I missed the uh, I missed uh, Phoenicia. Phoenicia was actually to the southeast of Korea over here uh, okay interesting interesting doesn't have a connection from the north to the south and you do see he could actually get some trade routes at some point with uh, Korea. That's not bad, not bad. Uh, having a stronger economy there. Uh, and also Cree is to the northeast, but I'm pretty sure Cree is uh, going to want to go internals there. Hey, good Abend, close in. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. That is a beautiful Vesuvius. The only bad thing about it is uh, the lack of fresh water, indeed. I, I like the Vesuvius. It's just a... Uh, and the housing bro like these are amazing tiles but the housing is just gonna be a big booboo -boo. big booboo -boo. maybe if he settles the coffee and just stays there you know aqueducts the city or something like that maybe maybe that's a, a way for him to go about this Anyway, I, I guess non-fresh water settles is uh, gonna be the name of the game here for Novak if uh, they're gonna actually pick this map I find it extremely doubtful they're gonna want to pick this map wait VIP Oh, 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 I see, I see, Star Spang, I see, bro, I see. There we go, we got a VIP here. Actually, it does something, you can actually uh, share links, if I'm not mistaken now. You have uh, the trust of the channel to share links. Please don't actually share, you know, like, anything bad. <laughs> don't abuse the trust, bro, don't abuse the trust. <laughs> oh my god uh, in before everybody's gonna start sharing feed pics or something <laughs> oh thank you man thank you thank you thank you so much for uh, picking up that vip <laughs> this is the end of the chat we knew and the beginning of the new era we got star spanky wow coming up tonight with a vip looks like both teams wanted to remap this is it guys this is it whatever happens next whatever map is gonna come out is gonna blurt from the civilization 6 map generator that's gonna be the map being played out that's it they don't have uh, no, this is actually just one remap. <laughs> this doesn't count as two remaps. It's one remap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the points. The points. Oh, man. Both teams. Can you imagine both teams actually being angry at their spawn on a Highlands map? That is so rare. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I know, like the island sea map, but it's definitely suspicious over here. I don't know what to say about this. It's, uh, I, I got, well, the map was definitely not amazing. I let's, let's give him that. It, with Persia, without fresh water, Korea on the coast, both teams had the reasons to actually call that a remap. Now, what's gonna happen here, that's gonna be a totally different question. And from what I can see, there's a possibility that Japan might actually interact with uh, England at some point. I see them uh, not uh, really on the same seas, but they could get boats. Let's take a look on the west side here. We got uh, to we get to talk about uh, Russia first, and uh, this is it, right? This is it. So I, let's actually put up the prediction. It's gonna be a one complete prediction. Who got the points? A lot of you got the points. Okay, there we go. Or do I like uh, something and flame Michael for the gambling? <laughs> Oh no, flame Michael. Why are you flaming me, bro? It's gonna be, it's gonna get hot in here. What do you think, guys, guys, guys? What do you think uh, is written below this? You see this? What do you think it's written below this uh, t shirt? There's, there's some more writing over there, but I don't want to reveal. The big reveal. What, what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Uh, feels good when you win indeed indeed uh, 1929 points for 500 bet uh, that's a good return on investment yeah that's a good return on investment yeah very nice very nice coming up over here and we got the uh, Votero with a setter he could actually go for the copper tile on the east side and get that uh, very nice uh, 222 base um of he does uh, i think he is gonna actually uh, get immediately the two two across that and uh, from what i can see unfortunately he doesn't have his um pa uh, his camps he only has a truffle tile over here uh, and i see a camp tile to the southeast a few camps to the east side but only one once that's not really awesome uh i do also believe he should move on the copper tile that's a must so he can open up another city to the west side uh, there's no uh, at the moment i don't have a redeem for a mod i don't have a redeem for a mod but i i would assume it's gonna be a lot a lot of points a lot of points uh fountain reviews coming up on the west side of uh, russia we do have um, quite a few mountains over here for him okay not bad it's gonna be a bit awkward to actually get those units there uh, and i do see he's gonna have an ally also to the southwest that's gonna be um persia or with novak a decent amount of tundra to develop his uh, cities on the uh, east side and uh, in the capital oh no why why west bro why okay i guess he wanted to go west sure he's gonna have a lot more production i guess he's gonna have to spend a lot less gold uh with this method but he's not gonna have that many cities uh we'll see especially um how much uh population he's gonna get in st petersburg and how is he gonna um, get his other cities going i do like the cattle settle to the southeast if he really wants to go out of the tundra that is a good way to do it uh, from what i can see he's gonna get uh, the scout in three i do believe he has uh, iron in, on the east side horses are lacking uh, doesn't have a horse in sight over here uh, quite far away to the south that's uh, gonna be a, a long time until he actually gets his horses in his empire uh, Russia got a war spawn somehow. I, yeah. I, uh, at least he's gonna have other cities on the east side. That's still gonna be nice. We don't need to see what kind of religion he's gonna pick here. We don't need to see what kind of um, development, uh, or I should say, second set or third set uh, he's gonna want to get. Moving forward, we do have a Petit Pascal with the city of Tyre. That is gonna be Phoenicia's capital. We do have him with. Um, uh, the truffle tile in the capital on the east side he does have a 223 and i do see a very good second settle over there on the cattle tile extra food uh, some extra production from the um, forest uh, and of course i do see he's gonna get uh, to settle all of this uh, series all of these series a bit unfortunate that he's gonna be quite close to uh, russia and i don't think he's gonna be that happy of uh, settling on the west side i'm pretty sure russia will want to poke him a little bit with uh, units it's not really ideal when uh, you do get a naval uh, spawn uh, naval um, 
um, how to say civilization and you do try to fight your opponents that are land based and that's gonna be a bit tricky now uh, we do have uh, to the south over here oh, oh wait whoa 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 on uh, the city of Tyre we do have uh, iron tile to the northeast we do have uh, horses on the east side and Tingi is gonna be with uh, Tingi Petit Pascal is gonna need uh, to be the one guarding the Tingi uh, and of course um, I'm pretty sure their opponents will want the thingy. We're gonna need to see if they can get the thingy away from Petit Pascal. Um, we, to the south, we do have uh, Gyeongju. Uh, Tamlin this time did spawn uh, in the middle of the land over here to the south. Uh, that's actually quite good for him. I do also see he's gonna have a lot of uh, hills to develop those seoans in and get the mines going. Uh, get a, it gets a scout from Gyeongju in one, and I do see he's gonna have uh, Iron in the capital with the uh, horses to the northwest, uh, second ring. That's not expensive at all. Second city next to a um, culture tile, uh, next to the amber tile. And I do see he is going to get uh, some... Uh some freshwater cities over here to the northeast the southwest is kind of devoid of freshwater he's gonna need to do something about it maybe aqueduct some cities or just keep on expanding to the northeast uh, that's gonna put him closer to phoenicia anyway might as well uh, try to trade with him uh, it, also i do believe he is quite far away from his opponent so that's actually a good perk on tamlin he's gonna get to develop his cities he's gonna try to get to sim uh, to get some timings going some powerful timings going i don't actually see him with uh, available option to do um, something like a Hawacha attack, Hawacha push. By the time he gets next to Mexico City and puts uh, cities uh, close to Russia, uh, it's uh, well over uh, the, that uh, Hawacha timing. We're gonna have a lot of uh, stats coming up from Russia as well. I don't believe this is gonna be an option this game. Uh, we do have uh, England coming up uh, with Oransi. Well, I do see uh, England on the coast. He's gonna get his uh, plus four, uh, plus five actually, Royal Navy Dockyard. Uh, with the horses uh, to the northeast, I do see an iron tile next to the mountains there, to the northwest as well. Uh, second ring and third ring coming up for those uh, strategic resources. He does have a decent amount of uh, coast to settle. Uh, while to the south he's not going to have an opponent to go against. In the north he is going to get uh, Kree over there to go against. And that's going to be a problem. Uh, Bamaki over here will probably try to defend his coast a little bit. Uh, so England doesn't get to develop that much. Of course, uh, there are some. Uh, there is an island, or a, I should call it a peninsula, because it's connected with a one-tile choke here uh, from the east side that uh, he could settle on. And, uh, of course, um, try to get that going. Uh, that is going to be nice for uh, Oransi. He is going to get more cities here uh, without that big of a woof, that big of a trouble. Uh, we do have uh, Bamaki from Mikisiv uh, Ooh, live from Mikisiv Wachik. Three of these uh, cattle tiles to improve. Uh, uh, I see two cattle tiles and a horse, actually. Uh, three pastures to improve. Uh, he does have... Oh, my God. He could have actually had uh, five of them. But, you know, it is what it is. It's still going to be three extra gold and three extra food for each of that uh, those trade routes, and internal trade routes. And I'm pretty sure he's going to plug in Magnus. Uh, I'm actually quite curious if he's going to go Pingala here. The extra science suit to quite nicely on him um, I do see him uh, trying to uh, see the south and he's probably gonna come up with uh, this coast and see uh, where it goes where it leads uh, that's not bad though um, I do have a bit of a struggle finding out uh, where he's gonna put the second city so he could go for the west side this would be probably the best choice for him uh, next to that banana tile and next to the um, tutu he could get a um, settler there and of course uh, trying to make that land great uh, with available good relatively good campuses i do see he's uh, gonna get more open up more city slots on the west side uh, and the land on the north and the east just uh, does look like again devoid of uh, fresh water the the land is pushing creed to go towards england uh, which we will probably gonna get to benefit from you know some entertainment value over here we're gonna see england uh, go against Cree or Cree go against england however you want to say it we got in the second ring of his capital city Horses coming up uh, to the north. We got uh, iron uh, coming up uh, to the northeast. Uh, and it does look like uh, the settler is um, coming out right now from the city. And we're going to find our answer. Where is he going to want to settle this? I'm pretty sure he actually... Oh, they actually... Okay, they invested in an Occitao. And then he did scout the west side. He is... I believe he should go here. Yeah, there we go. He, he is going there. He's going there. He's going west side. 
Uh, let's uh, take a look at Japan. We do have Japan uh, off the coast uh, again. He is gonna go for his uh, cattle settler. You get that extra production, go extra food going. And I do see he's also gonna get a settler in one turn. Has an amazing settle to the north. Oh my god, spy style and the cocota and two cocotiles right next to each other. Man, you gotta get a city there like this. This city on the cocota is unbelievable. Even on the two two base over here, if you wanna get it, it's still gonna be amazing. Uh, the cocota now improved it's uh, gonna get him uh, that extra production and uh, of course the extra gold a uh, very nice um, gold acquisition from the beginning of the game this is a bit of a surprise i like the holy sites coming up on um, uh, japan but we've seen it multiple times being tried out and it didn't quite manage to pull through uh, usually the when the players are going for something like this they are gonna go for um, a secret path and yes that's a good pantheon um i'm worried we're not gonna see a an extremely good Japan, an extremely productive, I should say, Japan. We do need to see what uh, his um, empire development will look like. And of course, how is he going to pull this through? We got um, Kyoto to the west side with an iron tile. I do in the second ring. I've seen the um, north. Uh, he's gonna get a horse side in the third ring, and um, pulling down that holy site, uh, finishing in two. I do have to mention Japan does get half cost holy sites. It's actually quite uh, good to uh, try to spam them out as uh, hard as you can. Okay, uh, coming up next, we got uh, we need an emo emote with it is what it is. I was thinking actually a a, a cup yeah i I, <laughs> I like that and second that motion it is what it is okay i i need to figure out how i can actually put that as an emote <laughs> you know um raja okay there we go well, we got persia coming up with the uh, setter in four and he did get his second setter to the west side and i do see uh, he's gonna benefit from an iron tile to the northeast in the second ring he already has his horses in his borders didn't get to improve it yet uh, but he does have a dice tile worked which is gonna give him a faster pantheon that's actually gonna be quite interesting to see what is he gonna get we do have a uh, Novak over here, one uh, faith point away from getting his 12th necessary for his Pantheon. Uh, and I do see he's uh, going to grow to the third population next turn. Uh, he's also probably going to settle somewhere around here. I'm actually uh, curious if he's going to go directly on that uh, deer tile. I've seen a lot of players. Uh, yeah, there we go. He he wants to get the deer tile. He's going to get a 2-3 uh, from that deer. Uh, underneath the settle, it's going to be amazing with extra food coming up uh, to the northwest. Uh, again, a bit of an issue when it comes to his... Is, uh, fresh water we do have him uh, with um, quite a bit of coast over here he can put another city to the south can put uh, more cities to the north uh, but he is also going to get uh, close up and personal with uh, Mapuche which honestly is not that bad they are allies uh, it's not like he's going to have an incentive to trade um, externally but later on in the game he will probably get especially with Fitzel Bunker activated with um, uh, an alliance so that will be quite important uh, for them to start trading with each other that's going to be a lot of production now uh, we do have let's see uh, Mapuche over here uh, starting to meet Korea well he's gonna get to meet Korea soon enough uh, there is a warrior sniffing around the cities of uh, Ngulu Mapu that is a 2-3 base city by the way and it looks like uh, he did uh, choose to not actually settle that incense style to the northwest now he does have a lot of food from the rices and I do see he's uh, working the rice and the 1-3 to the northwest uh, he's growing quite fast yes he did pump out a settler already uh, two turns away from getting his fourth pop uh, we do have Pikun Mapu with uh, again a decent amount of food coming up from the bananas another 2-2 base and I do see in the strategic resources he does have access to iron tile mm, in the first ring of Engulu Mapu I don't see his horses horses are gonna actually appear southeast next to the mountains uh, that's gonna need a the settler there uh, and he also has one to the west side here maybe he does need to uh, figure out a way to actually uh, put a coastal so he can trade with Persia and of course Persia needs to do the same uh, I believe uh, that should definitely be a, a thing here I like his uh, possible Etemenanki by the way Th that's a lot of, um, of marsh to improve with Etemenanki and Voltaire hello there good evening man welcome welcome uh, did this game start late? I thought I would uh, arrive mid uh, game. It did start a little late but not that late and yes we did have a uh, one remap 
all the horses are south of Persia, three uh, next to each other. Oh, these ones? Yeah, yeah, uh, south of Persia. Persia definitely needs to do something about it. Uh, Persia also is uh, very close to uh, Japan. And honestly, I really like um, uh, that we might actually see some sparks flying. Uh, of course, um, definitely like Japan spawn over here coming up with uh, so many uh, resources, luxury resources. A lot of gold can be generated. He does have a good defensive land. He does need to figure out a way to uh, properly defend himself against Persia. Shouldn't be that hard, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to poke at each other at some point. Uh, we did have, there we go, oh, Tamlin wanted to go on, uh, to take out uh, Apul's builder, and you do see uh, Fertility Rest has been chosen here as a pantheon, while on Persia we did have City Patheon Goddess uh, chosen by him, okay, 50% production towards the first uh, district, I'm pretty sure Novak is gonna try to go, there we go, currency for the uh, commercial hubs, so, so that's gonna be his choice, okay, not bad, not bad. How did um, my game end up yesterday? Did you know? No, we, we actually ended up uh, losing to a culture victory to Russia. We just couldn't get to Russia, uh, couldn't defend Russia. It was just a, a mess over there. There were very good moves. Uh, they, they did make very good moves. I do have to say that. Very nice, very nice coming up from um, Maelstrom. Also creators if BBG in these teams, do I see that right? Uh, yes, I think, uh, wait, whoa, 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 April is one of the moderators uh, of uh, CWC, referees and also organizers of the CFR uh, squadrons and um, of course uh, is now also on the BBG team if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, Vodero, is he? I, I'm not sure, honestly, I didn't follow on him, I'm not sure. Uh, let me take a look here. I can I can find out. I can find out. Uh, I don't see him in the BBG council. Maybe maybe that's just me. I don't know. Anyway, um, oh, they're both uh, published on Steam. Okay, I didn't read that. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? We got um, the teams starting to um, get their ERNA score points. I do see them um, also starting to put down their uh, campuses. Uh, Seon is coming up from uh, Korea. Uh, two of them, uh, the count here, going for minus in the capital city while he's going to get another settler. Uh, he did click on the library but didn't finish it. Of course, uh, the first scientist is not actually Hypatia, so he's not probably not going to rush that. Uh, we do have uh, two possible uh, great prophets to choose uh, soon, uh, Russia and Japan will both try to get a religion here uh, and we're gonna need to see who's actually gonna try to get what. Uh, Russia is going for the holy side prayer projects while uh, I do see Kyoto is gonna finish one next turn. It's probably gonna have first dips on the um, religion. That's actually quite surprising. Japan over here managing to get that so soon. Well, of course, uh, we do have uh, Russia starting to get a uh, decent amount of uh, faith coming up from his Earth Goddess Pantheon. Uh, this land looks actually awesome when it comes to the um, appeal. Uh, we do have him getting his shrines up and I do see him managing to get that city to the southeast with that extra food. Uh, still didn't go for the third settle uh, while we'll, we do see him uh, starting to ex explore a little bit to the east side. Um, I do want to take a moment here and take a look at the city-states while, of course, we're going to wait for that um, religion to be activated. We got Venice and Hansa coming up for um, uh, trade bonuses. Let me actually put a screen here so we can see the prophet. There we go. He's actually moving on the holy side. One turn away. Um, Fez with Anshan and Hatusa will be the ones providing science bonuses. We got uh, Jerusalem coming up for religious. Uh, Buenos Aires and um, uh, industrial uh, for, and um, Mexico City are going to come up for industrial city states. Uh, Cat and Kabul with Valeta will be the ones for military. And we do have, uh, as you can see, Ayutthaya coming up for culture bonuses. Now, we are one turn away from uh, figuring out uh, the first religion. And I do have to point out, this is a bit awkward, uh, because uh, St. Petersburg is also going to get the religion next turn. Uh, yes, they, uh, Japan did recruit the great prophet faster. But, oh, no. Russia is not going to put the project in? No. Project, bro. Oh, my God. They could actually same turn each other over here no he's he's actually giving up on this he doesn't want to spend that extra production on getting a great profit since he's just gonna oh there we go he noticed he noticed there was no religion activated so now he's gonna choose it really oh. what oh no 
He finished the Civic? Oh no, what did he finish? Oh, oh the technology. That Holy Cypress project just got a little bit expensive, a little bit more expensive. Oh my God, and it pushed it here. That is so not cool, bro. So not cool. He's uh, he's probably mad right now. He's like, oh man, I wasted like two tons of production for this. No, no, give me back my prod. We do have uh, Osaka with uh, quite a few scouts coming around and sniffing around those cities. Uh, and of course, you do see uh, Mapuche coming up next to Kyoto. We do have another Persian warrior coming up from the east side. Uh, and they might actually try to bully a little bit uh, Japan here. Uh, Japan did go for Feed the World and Lay Ministry, a very strong religion coming up for him. A lot of food will be generated, a lot of culture and faith uh, coming up from his um, holy sites. He did uh, spread it in both of his cities and now he's working on the next year settlers. We do also need to uh, take a look here on uh, Persia. Uh he did get the first trade route going. He's starting to put a few slingers uh, for the defense, for the attack uh, later on in production. I would actually assume he would really love to go for his uh, unique unit as well. But I've seen, I've actually lately, I've seen so few uh, immortals on the game. So I'm not so uh, certain that's uh, gonna be a possibility here for him. Uh, we do have uh, okay, fertility rights coming up here for eight more. Oh my god, these these foot tiles, bro. The six foot tiles. Um, let's see over here. London doesn't get the Pantheon yet. I do see him uh, actually having a decent God of the Sea if he wants to. He's gonna get his settler to the north over here of uh, London. And now we do have um, Russia with a religion. Choral music and pilgrimage is going to be his choice. Um, actually, I gotta say, not that bad. He does have a lot of grassland to the south. That's a decent amount of food that can be generated. Is not actually locked in the tundra. Uh, so the um, extra food that he would have gotten from the shrines and the temples, yes, it would have been nice, but not always necessary. Uh, just as yes, but the world is really bad on Japan here. Uh, Yes and no. He does have a decent amount of uh, flood uh, of uh, plains to the north so that he would benefit from uh, that. And of course, I'm pretty sure he's going to want a lot of food anyway. Uh, more districts, more pop, more districts, bro. Um, what do we learn from that? Don't research. Stay. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, salty. <laughs> just, just spewing it like it is, right? Just telling it like like it is. Okay, I understand. Rafifi also uh, feed, the blow, uh, feed the world is a major blow to Ranja because now he can't settle in the Tundra anymore. Yeah, I do have to say that. that that's a lot of land that he could settle. And this, uh, yes, indeed, it kind of forces him to the south here, which is going to be uh, right in the grasp of Tamlin. And of course, um, uh, Phoenicia can be over here as well. We do need to see what they're going to do. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. God of the Sea? Do I see God of the Sea? Yes, I do see God of the Sea actually picked up by Petit Pascal. He is uh, actually just denying it. I don't think he actually wanted it for the amount of production he's going to get. But it's definitely a strong deny away from uh, England. And while England did go for religious settlements. Did he f I'm pretty sure he actually saw thing. Yes, not a good one that usually, but this looks awesome. A lot of food, a little bit of culture, a little bit of uh, science on all of these tiles. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we are uh, not that far away from also getting uh, into the era, into the classical era. We do need to see if the players do manage to get their golden age points. We got Novak over here and AP lagging behind with 15 uh, out of 19, 15 out of 19. Both of them actually have unique improvements. Uh, Peri Deza coming up for uh, Persia and of course we do have uh, the Shemamul coming up from Mapuche. The Shemamul can only be built on a breathtaking tile. So for example, he could build one here on a 2-1. Uh, but from what I can see, he's not actually uh, doing that uh, he has six more turns to figure out a way uh, to get those uh, era score points of course, uh, the same can be said about Novak over here to the north. Uh, he does have a builder coming out. He could. He's starting to improve his horses. And from what I can see, of course, he already has the trader going from Sparta to Passar Garde. Um, plugging in Magnus in the capital city. He's going to use his capital city for um, as much production as possible. And of course, uh, the trader central. 
On uh, Cree, we do have the first commercials being put down. Uh, he did go for God of Open Skies, a Pantheon. He does have three of these uh, passions improved. Uh, in the capital city, he started to also get his traders going. And of course, you do see how fast these uh, second cities are growing right now. Uh, he does have more, uh, actually, passions to improve here to the west. And he is getting relatively close to England. Uh, we might actually see, I would love actually to see a few horses just going, uh, you know, close up and personal to the English cities. Just not, not a lot of them, just three, four, just to say, hello, I'm here. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know? Uh, does Lotano also get uh, plus 10? Uh, it's nerfed to plus 5 and uh, as far as I know uh, they did take out that um, pillaging ability as in you don't get to pillage one tile per movement point and now it's uh, four, uh, 4 turns or something, 4 movement points. It's, uh, it's quite a nerf, it's quite a nerf. Uh, Robert Meg, thank you so much for the follow sir and welcome, welcome. Yeah, it, it's still... it's still... A, Plus five, it's still very good. Yes, I do have to agree with that. Uh, okay, so we got a bit of time here. Let's uh, put the team names on the screen so we do know who is who. We do have Les Ornithonings uh, Roses, L-O-R, coming up over here on the left side. While on the right side we do have TVMT, that's a Tuvum Omtsingi. Not the big turtles ninja, not the big turtles, don't think about the turtles. Uh, and I do want to put um, the prediction on who will win. On one side of course uh, Les Ornito Rings. And on the other side we do have uh, Tuvum Omtsingi. Let's see, uh, roses, can I see? Oh. Okay, there we go. I was worried I'm not actually gonna get um, I want to say the full uh, name in, but it did, it did go in. Okay, so um, let's see what's going on over here. We do have uh, more settlers coming out from uh, Japan. He's gonna go for the um, uh, five settlers uh, rel relatively quickly. Moksha in the capital city, uh, and I do see uh, Purchase bringing a few more units there, including that slinger. Interesting. He's going also for uh, Purchase going also for the commercial hubs. Oh wait a second. He's still. Oh my God. Wait. Whoa. 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 Please. Please. Novak. Like, uh, please don't tell me this is gonna be gold uh, normal age enjoyer. I mean, I understand he's gonna open up state workforce. Uh, he already put down his co three commercials. He's probably gonna um, uh, have, uh, how to say, uh, discount his uh, government plaza. But really, I, I, I would assume he doesn't actually want to stay in a normal age. So maybe he has a plan that we don't know about to get those extra points. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. Maybe political philosophy. I see April is trying to go political philosophy, three turns away from getting it. But uh, Moksha plug then in Pikun Mapu. He's gonna get a plus one culture from that. Maybe it will uh, put it on three turns. Uh, okay, okay, that might be a thing, that might be a plan. Of course, uh, he's also 16 out of 19. I'm gonna try to get the first um, classic government. Oh, somebody got something. A boat. Oh, yeah, there we go. England got the boats uh, coming up uh, with um, Moksha in Liverpool. I do see he did uh, with that religious settlements. He's also going to expand relatively quickly, uh, getting more boats from his dockyard. So he's going to start um, exploring the peninsula he has to the east side. He's going to know about uh, what the peninsula looks like. And of course, that's a kind of an unpushable peninsula, peninsula anyway. Might as well uh, s uh, settle on it. Uh, while uh, I do see Kree is uh, trying to get a few pillages here with uh, the Okchitao. Okay, I do want to keep on watching these points if they uh, switch anytime soon. And of course, uh, take a look at uh, Persia over here. Is he? I, I see him poised to try to get a plantation on the dice tiles. And of, uh, of course, I do see him getting irrigation. Looks like Apiol is going to get pill on political philosophy. Oh my god, this is not going to be enough. Uh, Wait, it, it is, right? It's two from the government and one from discovering political philosophy. I believe it is, right? It's three? Okay, so both of them are going to try to get there. APL with a few more points. He's going to get four. Uh, why is London's Harbor not between the three fish tiles? Um, I believe he wants to get a government plaza here. So he's going to get... Um, 
uh, how to say he's gonna get bonuses towards uh, both of these uh, let's say let me actually take a look at the tech side here a state workforce coming up in three and archery in two that's why he, he went for okay plus a three but that's gonna turn into a plus five when he's putting his uh, Gavron Plaza, but uh, the Gavron Plaza being placed either on the Wheat Tile or on the Niter Tile is also going to give bonuses to the other uh, Royal Navy Docker, which is uh, going to turn into a plus four. So all in all, he actually gains uh, two gold out of this. Two extra gold, which with the double card can turn into four extra gold with that uh, and so on. It's it's quite good. It's good. I agree. I, I agree with this. We got uh, traders coming up from the Newcastle upon Tyne and come on, era score. Come on, era score. No, era score. Okay, political philosophy coming up in two from April. Uh, commercial hubs also coming up from him. Three of them at the count. He's going to want to discount something. Uh, he did go for his fourth and fifth settler. And I do believe uh, he's uh, going to want to settle to the north over there. There we go. He's probably eyeballing that uh, two-two tile. Uh, he wants to get the traders going towards uh, Persia as uh, quick as possible. Even though I would have assumed Mapuche over here is going to go for quite a few internals. Uh, especially since uh, Persia is going to go internals for some time now. You do have a political philosophy in four. Oh my god, this is... Catastrophe. This is a cat un catastrophe. Un catastrophe, actually. How, how to say? Un catastrophe, right? Oof. Bamaki coming up over here with the fourth settler. I do see uh, traders, okay, working for him. Multiple commercials. Uh, there's going to be a race for those merchants, by the way, between uh, Cyrus, uh, Cree, and, of course, uh, Lotaro. Uh, from what I can see, um, all three of them did go for commercials. Uh, and uh, the moment the, mer the first merchant is the extra luxury resource one. Okay, not bad. Nobody actually picked... Um, how to say? Uh, nobody got... Uh, Aztec on this map, so it is what it is. Oh, Tamlin here is getting quite bullied. Uh, he has English warriors, English scouts, and a scout to the west side coming up from Mapuche. Uh, even Russia has a scout in his land over here trying to pillage a few tiles. Uh, he did manage to uh, stop it a little bit with the archers, but uh, it's not happening. It, it's unfortunately he's getting pillaged all, of, all over the place. So many units here. Oh, we got some raiders in the house. Good and Avan in the air. Hello there, sir, and welcome, welcome in uh, IH8, California. Good evening, sir, and welcome. What map type is this? And if uh, it was anything other than Pegia, why two naval sieves? Uh, good evening, sir. First to ask the, uh, the the answer to the first question is this map is Highlands. You can actually see it uh, right below my camera over there. Um, also, welcome everybody coming up from uh, Tinder Air stream. We do have a game going on tonight between Lesnar and Tonix Roses and Tuvil Monsingi. Uh, and as you can see over here, we're just about to jump into the classical era. We went through the spawns. Uh, I can uh, keep on uh, showing you what happened. We are uh, there are two things very important happening. First, it's uh, Novax um, needing a golden age. IPO needs a golden age, and uh, you do see a lot of. Um, uh, a lot of attacks coming up from England into Korea's land. Uh, Korea over here is getting quite bullied. Uh, he's uh, getting his uh, land pillaged left, right and center, which is uh, going to be a problem. Uh, to answer your second question, uh, IH8 uh, California. Um, usually in a 4v4 setup, you do want to uh, have somebody with uh, a lot of uh, gold generation. And uh, the, uh, usually uh, to get that gold generation, the, um, the naval the naval civilizations are very very good at it they're not gonna actually use the naval powers but uh, they will get uh, the royal navy uh, they will get the harbors much faster they will uh, try to get some um, animals with uh, extra trade routes uh, they will get a decent amount of gold uh, coming up from them of course uh, with that uh, also comes uh, for uh, for example in this specific case we do have victoria which also has um, a bonus towards uh, spawning next to uh, strategic resources like coal for example as you can see he has it right next to the capital his city over here which later on in the game he's going to have a lot of production putting out the industrials with shipyards with the gold with the production it's just going to be a big ball of awesomeness over here on uh, phoenicia's land on uh, sorry on uh, victoria's land on the other side phoenicia is 
is gonna get to expand a lot and you're gonna just settle and settle and settle like there's no tomorrow and we're probably gonna see uh, the same thing happening here for him he's gonna try to get the coastlines with the harbors and with the um, uh, shipyards and at the same time we'll get those industrial zones for that extra production uh, also, Raiotion, bonsoir, monsieur. Uh, how are you doing? Como ça va? Como ça va? Uh, Persia is uh, last. Well, he did get it. I think he got it, right? He did get it. Yes, he did. Everybody got a golden age. Okay, everybody got a golden age. We got it. We got it, boys. We got it. We got um, uh, also an, a question here from Riot Soon. Uh, did you win yesterday? I did not, sir. I actually uh, tried my best to defend that culture victory. It was uh, the Russian culture that just overwhelmed everybody. Uh, we tried to do too many things at the same time and it didn't work out. It is what it is. C'est la vie! C'est la vie! Yeah, it is what it is. Um, anyway. We got um, the golden ages activated here. Uh, Mapuche coming up with a pen, brush, and voice uh, on Apul, and uh, we do see him uh, getting that uh, fifth settler to the north. Uh, he did get uh, Nag Mapu next to the horse style, and he started improving some of his um, amenities. Uh, got that incense style going. He's gonna get the salt. He's gonna need to improve the tea tile, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to uh, get some more of these incense improved so he can give it to his allies. You need, you need to take care of your allies, man. And who doesn't want a little bit of incense? You know, some smell in the house, some different smell. We do have a um, pen brush and voice coming up from uh, Victoria. He's going to go for the extra culture coming up from all of those harbors. He did put down his government plaza on the nighter tile. So now uh, these uh, Royal Navy Dockyards are going to get more gold uh, and of course later on more production uh, because of the gold adjacency. Uh, we do have him plug in Magnus in the capital. It looks like he is going to go for uh, internals, which kind of makes sense. He can't actually trade with anybody uh, and he is going to need to get as much production as possible. We do see Vodero, Monumentality, Golden Age, with uh, 33 faith a turn coming up uh, on two cities. He did try to max out the amount of um, uh, faith that he's gonna get uh, during the first era. And uh, as you can see over here, he did get two other settlers, one going to the west side, going towards uh, Mo uh, the Fountain of Youth. And one going to the east. I'm actually curious, is he actually gonna settle that uh, stone tile? I guess so, right? Interesting. We do have him uh, getting more culture from the monuments, again uh, going for audience chamber. He bought a few of these builders, gonna start to improve his land relatively quickly here. And uh, we're gonna see him uh, use his uh, faith to keep on expanding. He has 283 faith in the bank right now. And it's uh, actually quite a bit of a surprise. We don't see him uh, trying to expand much uh, faster with more settlers bought. Uh, there is a Korean scout. Oh. oh, I like this. Korea, Korea, snatch. He's gonna see the cattle is gonna get improved next turn and he's gonna get that scout and gonna snatch the builder. We do have um, the Silas coming up with 8 science and 15 culture. I do see him uh, pen bash and voice the uh, golden age as well in the classical republic uh, government. Uh, he's uh, gonna get some amenities and housing there. And I do want to check this. I'm sorry I'm gonna delay my speech for all of those um, going. Come on. I mean, you know, this is basically like an eye for an eye. You know, he, he, Tamlin here got so bullied by his opponents. Now he's looking for revenge. And this scout can actually give him that uh, happen. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. He has, you can see he has enough movement to take over the builder. Because this is a scout with the promotion, with the heal promotion. It can actually move there. Tamlin. Tamlin. Oh, he... He can see the pasture right now. If if you take a look over here in the view range, oh my God, he can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. I mean, if if this was an open, uh, how to say, uh, fog of war, he could have seen the pasture. Come on, no, no, man. Talk about bad luck over here. How is there still a tiki hut four tiles away from uh, Russia? How is oh, I'm sorry, I'm screaming inside right now. I'm screaming inside. 
Uh, do you think Daido will settle the wonder to her uh, east? Yes, I think. I, th I definitely think he needs to settle that wonder to the east. Uh, from the city of Biruta, uh, from the city of Babylon, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get that settler dead and work it. Petit Pascal does have uh, Christ, uh, there we go, a pen brush and voice, he's moving uh, more settlers to the north, that's when the cattle tile winks at him. Oh yeah, some Kobe, some Kobe cattle, yeah, very nice, very nice. We got um, uh, horses coming up from uh, Sidon and I do see, of course, uh, he got a few builders over here to improve, to chop, to uh, get uh, his uh, land going. We do have uh, Korea coming up with a pen brush and voice uh, gold range as well. Still on three series, but he did get a decent amount of science. 21 science and 22 culture just up there when it comes to the science. Uh, he is generating those scientist points. I do see he got Hypatia. He's going to get a free library here. He, all of his libraries will also benefit from uh, plus one science. Uh, and of course, so you do see he was forced to get a decent amount of um, army here. Uh, 128 military strength. We do have um, Pawn Maker coming up with a pen brush and voice golden uh, five cities. He's putting down his campuses. He got those commercials uh, getting. Oh, I really like this, by the way. The placement of the Gavron Plaza will allow him to get very good campuses next to it. Uh, this is going to be a plus a four. This is going to be a plus a four, I believe. Yeah, uh, one and a two and a three and a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus four, plus four. Very nice. And of course, he couldn't place it from Mikisi Vwachik. I don't know what's the hold up, though. Why is he not doing it right now? Why is he not replacing that uh, cover on, uh, that uh, play, um, campus? Uh, I'm actually quite curious if he's gonna go for a general here. Of course, uh, if he wants to uh, go and tackle a little bit the English cities, he's gonna need a general here uh, to have uh, chances of success. Uh, I do also notice there was a forest fire or something that go through uh, the tiles of uh, the south of Mistahi Sipik. Uh, you can see the 4-2 banana and the 2-3 tile uh, getting those extra ends. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we did have uh, Tirhap coming off with a Monumentality Golden Age. I did notice he doesn't have a lot of Faith generation for him. Only 26 Faith a turn, while of course uh, he did go for uh, more cities. And he is going to go for Pio Pio Tahi also to the south. Not bad. That's going to be quite an interesting uh, settle. Not a lot of good things to come uh, actually out of this wonder. I'm curious. He's going to settle probably the Wheat Tile. And I gotta ask this, I gotta ask the stream right now, you know, viewers, chat, you know, I trust you, I trust your German, I, I know, I know, the chat wisdom is impressive, would you sacrifice the extra culture and the gold you get from that one tile from Pio Pio Tahi to put an awesome holy site on it? Yes, you will, you would, but you wouldn't get to see these yields, bro. Like, they just look at the colors. Yes, but they, they look so good. <laughs> so we got yes and no and yes and oh my god, okay, okay, oh my god, okay, you know, this, okay. The yields aren't that good in 10, 15 turns. Okay. Okay. I put on the wheat and go on the uranium. So, it, it Tirham here it look, definitely looks like it, that's going to be on the wheat tile, right? He's going for the wheat tile. And it, I'm actually extremely curious. Is he going to put it on the holy sign? Oh, that holy sign on Pio Pio Tahi or not? I do have to point out that's going to be a plus six holy sign. That's that's the most he has in his empire. Marginally worse holy sign is better for Chiga Chat tile yield. <laughs> Man, you know when you look at your empire, you gotta see some yields over there. You know you you gotta you gotta feel feel happy about your empire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is that is uh, four and score. So um, first, uh, wait, I don't know if it's four and score. It's um, two and score, I believe, and it's a plus uh, six holy side. It's a two and a two and a one and a one. So one from the mountain, one from the wheat. 
the faith yeah the faith on Tirhab is going to be quite important here we do have him uh, getting a few of these traders going he's going for all this chamber i do see he put down an encampment from osaka this is a bit uh, problematic here he probably knows about persia's plans to come at him and of course uh, novak over here is um, as you can see preparing his empire with uh, more of these traders he's, he did get that peridesa for the extra um, uh, era score and i do see he's putting down a few campuses for the for the nice and juicy signs and of course we do have him on 13 and 21 okay moment of truth guys moment of truth is he gonna do it is he gonna do it Tid hub cage fight cage fight cage fight 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 send that oh okay moment of truth he put it chat you know i told you i man, chat is always on point with this you guys nailed it bam he got it <laughs> he got it you get an ask for settling with uh, in, uh, could have settled your name and still gonna yes you, you can still get it it's a plus six plus six Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay very nice very nice we got japan over here of course uh and getting and getting that uh, faith he wants to get the faith i do see bamaki is also just exploding with production 79 production coming up from those trade routes uh getting entertainment complex in uh oh my god the city we gotta say it boys we gotta say it are you ready are you are you ready for the city name we gotta be ready for the city name man man oh, come on pihto kahana piwi yin ah oh, there we go i told you it happens it happens <laughs> oh man just invoking the name the power of the kree names over here <laughs> thank you so much anonymous gifter for the five gifted subs we got lucky lake we got swift copes we got nebomatic daisuke and butter snipe joining us looking at the uh, bomaki over here and uh, he's gonna get uh interesting a choice to go for that very nice and juicy Colosseum. I'm actually quite surprised he didn't uh, get Magnus to chop it out. As you can see, he does have quite a few chops uh, remaining for him. A audience chamber coming up in three turns, and I do see he is going for the arena. Is he gonna chop arena? Well, he does have three builders ready to go. Uh, Kree is the only sieve where I always rename my cities. I can't handle those names. Wait, really? You, you can't? Oh, man. Okay. Well... Uh, some of them are actually quite hard to spell yeah i, I gotta say <laughs> uh, that was well it brought a tear to my eye because i can't speak english as well as somebody with english as a second wait what no no i'm i'm pretty sure you speak much better than me man i'm much better than me also good evening lukang 89 good evening sir and welcome welcome we got uh, Yerusalem uh, coming under attack here. We got uh, three of these horses uh, going against that city. It looks like Phoenicia is going to get to settle that cheap tile. While England uh, might try to sneak in. Is he, is he going to catch him with his pants down? Is this what's going to happen? Petit Pascal? Is he? Let's see. He's, this is a hill terrain promoted English scout. England sees this. He doesn't. Oh, okay. He might actually reveal it. He knows this is Tsingy, right? He, he knows he could go here. He could go through the forest. He has, of course, multiple choices. Might actually wait for the last moves here. He came a long way through the mountains and the hills. He passed through the bananas, snatched one of those. <laughs> and now he's going closer. Let's see. Is it Monsieur? No. Bro, all of that hype for nothing. Monsieur. Well, I guess he was a bit scared about that uh, scout health. Uh, he didn't want to go and attack it. I see Jerusalem over here doing amazing work to defend himself. The horses don't have promotions on them. And as you can see over here, they're not enough to actually punch through the defenses of that city center. Uh, Perit Pascal would need a few more a few more units to deal with this city state. Man, Jerusalem just has very big very big muscles you know <laughs> big muscles 
Uh, Belgian, I mean, gold, uh, city names are the best. I particularly love the city. Um, <laughs> good evening, sir. Hello there. Frosty Unicorn. Hey, man. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, over the mountains, over the hills, and through the bananas. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Well, we got Cothons coming up from uh, the cities of Petit Pascal. He's gonna try to get more traders going, of course, with Magnus Internals. He's gonna get that production. 71 production coming up for him. Uh, actually, I'm uh, quite surprised we don't see Monsieur over here getting uh, the same amount of production. He's a bit late on his uh, lighthouses. He did manage to plug in uh, in the city of London, Governor Magnus, uh, but he's not even close to the production of Petit Pascal and Bamaki. And I think they're on the same number of cities now. They actually, um, Phoenicia has one and Cree have one more city, but still it doesn't account for uh, the difference. We do have uh, Bamaki on 21 science and 30 culture. Tamlin already uh, arrived at 34 and 26. Uh, they are starting to gear up for the next era. And we do need to see uh, what kind of moves they're gonna go. <laughs> Are they gonna move like Jagger or is it gonna be something else? Uh, we do have, as you can see over here, uh, Tamlin going for the north uh, settle, uh, uh, actually uh, wanting to settle right in the face of Russia. Um, he did get an encampment out, so this screams at me. We might actually have a Hawacha attack. I gotta say, I gotta predict it from now. Like looking at the setup of Korea, we might actually have uh, Hawacha push over here. He is going for the Foro Settle. He's gonna get that trade route, snaking its way towards the south over here, you know? Like just, ooh, uh, okay. And then on the west of Gongju, we're gonna have more settlers for that extra production. He's gonna start to pre-build quite a few archers uh, and of course uh, as you can see over here he is going to have the science alongside that culture to go for uh, i do see a lot of builders coming up for him he is going he's uh, by the looks of it trying to get uh, i think he actually got feudalism did he get feudalism oh, no not yet i don't see any of his builders with uh, the extra um, charges on them now we do have another seon coming up from guangzhou and I do see next turn, next turn. And we can see Zhangju, uh, if he's gonna get that uh, builder with the extra charges or not. Uh, in the tech side here, oh no, actually he has, uh, wait, he's on defensive tactics, he shouldn't have it, right? It's before, right? Yeah, it's before feudalism, so he doesn't have. Ooh, a bit preemptive over here on the builders. Maybe he should actually go for something else, I don't know. Uh, you know, like you don't wanna build that many builders before uh, feudalism. You wanna get the best out of your builders? And that's a medieval era unit. I think it's a Renaissance, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, it comes at uh, gunpowder, so that's Renaissance. Yes. Uh, Hawacha. Man, I love actually saying this name. I don't know if you notice this, but every time I'm actually extremely excited to say this name. Hawacha. It, it whenever I say this name, it feels like. Uh, a scene from kung fu you know from those movies with kung fu and you, you can see some someone doing with the hands oh my god <laughs> you know <laughs> like oh my god have you seen uh, the drunken master have you guys seen that movie <laughs> it's an amazing movie yeah uh, they are really good but you need a journal uh, or they are not good yeah you definitely need a journal that's why i'm saying sangju putting down an encampment over here definitely smells like uh, how a push no, anyway, we, we do need to check out what's going on in the other empires. Uh, Russia over here try, did manage to get Oracle, did manage to get uh, Hanging Gardens. I do see he's expanding a little bit to the northeast. Put down Apadana, north of St. Petersburg. Now he's going to get to defend himself against the Petit Pascal Scout. And I do see uh, Korea walked in over there. We walked in on him, got him uh, well um, in an awkward position. Uh, and we do have uh, Pingala established in, uh, establishing in Novgorod alongside uh Magnus in Yaroslav. Vodero over here is going to have a decent amount of uh, faith to use to buy out those uh, builders and uh, keep on expanding uh, his M Empire. Uh, he's going to be on five cities soon. I'm actually quite curious if he's going to keep on going to the south. The coast is probably not going to be an option. Petit Pascal is going to be over there to stop him from doing so. But the south over here has a few uh, non-freshwater settlers that he could go for. Not ideal, but still could work. Uh, Aztec can just put a settler and uh, this might be a 
an answer to our questions to our question is he gonna go here is he gonna go here uh, of course with um, Cyrus on the same team he can uh, benefit from the uh, safe settle so to the southwest next to the fountain of youth that's uh, gonna be an option for him and this is relatively close to it we do have uh, Persia putting down an encampment from Tushpa. Uh, we do have uh, Zaranka as a new city coming up over here. And I do see he's uh, getting the commercials going. Uh, getting some builders to chop those uh, down. And I do see horses coming up from Sparta. I do have to point out this is basically over. Like he Novak over here kind of um, um, delayed his attack too long. And he's not going to get an option to attack Japan anymore. Uh, Japan shouldn't be that far away from getting feudalism. Which uh, which is the time he opens up samurais which is the time he's gonna get very very strong units to use not the good time to actually attack japan into even without the extra plus five on the coast he's still gonna be booming banging <laughs> yeah uh wait is this wait, is this actually goddess of festivals this is goddess of festivals okay extra culture coming up from his plantation tiles okay very nice very nice i'm getting his um as you can see the theater squares i'm a bit uh, surprised about this he's not gonna get the gold alongside everything uh he's on 15 gold at 10 okay not bad especially since uh, petit pascal here is on 43 we got bamaki on 29 uh, tamlin 11 and then tirhab is paying for himself that's not bad we do have um that race going on for the merchants let's actually take a look at what's going on here Cree coming up with six we got Mapuche on eight Persia on 5.7 they all passed it what yeah they they kind of all passed it past the first one Coleus and uh, somebody actually needs to pick up a charge over here needs to get the commercial down so he can actually open it up for his opponents for his allies opponents so okay Let's see, Colosseum, Colo, 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 Colosseum. He's, uh, of course, Kree over here is going to be the only one in the game that's going to try to go for Colosseum. Uh, he didn't um, sacrifice his empire, though, for Colosseum. As you can see, he has uh, five cities and keeps on uh, building up those uh, workers. That's very nice. I do see he's going to get the markets going. He has a very good... Um, science and culture to work with uh, 28 science and 48 culture overwhelming over here victoria's uh, stats to the southwest um orancy did go for penbrush and voice which meant he's gonna sacrifice a little bit his uh, science uh, but now he's gonna start to put down those campuses and we're gonna need to see how fast is he gonna manage to get back on track um let's see uh, they are really good, okay, uh, but Russia so far away, yes, Russia is so far away, I gotta agree with that, it, Russia is, but uh, probably that's why they're getting, wait, is this a, what, what's happening over here, Petit Pascal, is he going aluminium, is he going cattle, where, where is he going, aluminium, okay, and we do have Tamlin going for that to settle next to Mexico, okay, um they kind of lost their steam when range to low support bonus also a decent timing would be turn 46 ish there is no way he hits it yeah well he's on a military engineering coming up in three turns feudalism in five uh, going for the encampment training projects he they do need to go for uh, the um, next year generals for the medieval renaissance ones and of course they're gonna need to open up these four first four I do notice nobody actually picked up a uh, general yet, and, but of course him starting to do projects is uh, quite important. Temple of Artemis did get uh, finished. I believe it was being built in uh, Phoenicia's land. Uh, Phoenicia also did settle MTW on the Tsingi, and he is going to start protecting that Tsingi. Oh no! Jerusalem strikes back! Petit Pascal is under pressure over here. He is going to get a few builders uh, to chop that out, uh, chop more units out. And as you can see over here, Jerusalem is just getting so big. We got him with uh, four archers that uh, keep on shooting down these uh, Phoenician horses, while two of of the Phoenician horses did go down two still are alive and kicking next to the city of Biruta we do need to see uh, the next year builders coming up with feudalism if they do manage to um, get him back on track uh, and of course uh, Petit Pascal here is gonna need to show us uh, how he's gonna manage to deal with this emergency going against Jerusalem 
Um, did Drasha not have a camp resource? Uh, seems like a mistake. Yeah, he did not have an initial camp resource, and I think he actually chopped the camp he had next to Yaroslav for uh, one of these wonders. I'm not sure what he did over here, but he didn't have a resource in the camp, or if that's what you're asking. Going for Apadana in St. Petersburg, still gonna be nice. Extra envoys, not to mention those uh, extra two slots. Very nice, very nice. Uh, it's just that pays off really uh, late in the game. And I'm pretty sure Vodero here is trying to set him his empire up for uh, some late game one ch wonder shenanig um, culture shenanigans. Uh, it's gonna be quite hard for him to do so, especially uh, next to uh, big production Petit Pascal. He's already on 95 production, uh, and we do have a decent amount of stats coming up from Tamlin. Uh, it's actually four more than four times the science of uh, Russia. Oh wait, I was looking at Victoria. Oh no, 16. Okay, well, it's still it's still about four times. Still about four times. 16. That four. Yeah, yeah. Still about four times. Not exactly. It would be, need to be what 64, but it's still about there. We do have uh, 34 uh, culture coming up from Tamlin, and I do see 88 production from him. He is on a 246 series. He's gonna get more science out soon, and of course, uh, he's uh, also gonna need to uh, chop down and improve all of the mines next to the seons. You can see this one is a plus six, for example. He's gonna get another plus uh, six over here. Now, I do also notice he got it from his capital city. He's gonna go for an industrial zone, uh, preferring to go for the production rather than anything else. Daisuke, hello there, sir, and welcome. Wait, I think you got gifted a sub, bro. Hey, welcome to the Dreamers, bro. We got uh, Japan coming up. Uh, Tirhab already is trading a few shots with uh, Persia. Uh, he did manage to recruit a general, and I do see uh, Sparta starting to get those uh, immortals out. Only one, though, uh, coming up from uh, Sparta is gonna two turn it, and of course, he did get a few horses. Uh, they are looking to take down Hatusa, uh, which of course I do see here. It has walls, 75 fortification health. Uh, it's still gonna be a problem uh, to go through those walls. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was gonna need a few immortals to uh, start attacking to that city center japan being played yes japan is being played over here and has an awesome land by the way did playing it is gonna do amazingly well i'm actually quite curious uh, what we're gonna have to see from him uh, tvmt over here does have um, a good chance of winning this game with uh, how many stats they have uh, 27 57 33 and 25 science while we do have them with 43 40 58 and 44 culture uh, looking at their production is uh, definitely running away uh, we got uh, bama here with 109 production, Petit Pascal 104, uh, Tamlin 89, and then Tirhab uh, lagging a little bit behind with uh, 67, but you gotta take into account that uh, faith generation as well of 68, so I believe he's about 90. Yeah, we do need to see also how Novak is going to try to pressure him. Uh, that, this is a mistake, by the way. If he tries to pressure him at this point, it's uh, definitely a mistake. Uh, Tirhab uh, has a very good defensive land. And as you can see over here, I uh, did manage to get the general. Uh, while he is going to also get Samurais to improve, that is going to be a very nasty unit to deal with. Yeah, we don't have them uh, trying to get as many Ena score points as possible. As you can see here, we do have uh, Vodero 57-57. He did get his uh, Golden Age points. Uh, built quite a few wonders and, uh, of course, uh, managed to get uh, decent districts going. Uh, those theater squares are starting to acquire his writer points. He's on 10 great writer points a turn, while Japan is barely on 2.3. And we do have uh, Petit Pascal, six points away, six, 48 out of 54. He's trying to get a few more horses going. He's uh, putting down a theater square uh, to the south of the city of Tyre. That is going to be a plus four over there. And he did manage to get also a religion, Catholicism. Uh, as you can see, he's uh, on a Zen meditation with Defender of the Faith. Um, as, well, yeah, that's not bad, not bad. Not expected, but not bad. The, um, the strategies of Damori over here are being spread uh, far and wide. Uh, we do have also Bamaki, 9 points away, and looks like Tidhub is going to be uh, 8 points away. Uh, he's on 49 out of 57, while Bamaki is on 50 out of 59. Uh, we didn't actually see Bamaki here with uh, Mapuche. Uh, Try to go for that many Shemamos. He does have uh, one or two. For example, this one next to uh, Lafke Mapu. Then from what I can see, 
Uh, he is uh, gonna get to trade with uh, Cyrus and his uh, next door neighbor is gonna be Korea. Uh, this might be a problem though for uh, Korea. Uh, Mapuche being uh, quite close to him and of course uh, benefiting from that Malon Raider, uh, which is coming about the same time as the... Um, As the Hawacha, this is gonna be an issue, a different issue. I totally forgot to actually take into account Mapuche's um, uh, power from the west, from the west side. Uh, Tamlin is gonna need to get a defensive wall of units. Uh, he did just get a spearman over there next to Jonju, uh, and I do see uh, Sangju is getting his encampment training projects. Very curious exactly how Tamlin is going to want to play this out. Uh, now going for a little bit of astrology, he's going for mysticism and from what I can see he's getting a few more builders out. Uh, he does have feudalism builders also with the plus uh, two extra charges on them. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Free Sim Korea is going to be tough to beat. Yeah, well, not really Free Sim because of uh, Apul. Apul. 100% needs to pressure uh, somehow Korea over here. If he if he just lets him sim, he is gonna have way too much science. The only weakness usually on Korea is the gold. You have to be careful to stay in a pen brush and voice and you have to be careful to um, uh, balance out your units with the gold generation. But other than that, Korea is an extremely, extremely good uh, nation. 67 science, 41 culture at the moment uh, versus uh, APUL 31 and 55. You can immediately see there's uh, quite a bit of a um, difference over there. I do like how APUL did manage to get um, extra uh, production and of course the food. Uh, one second over here, need to do something really quickly. Okay. Um, Looking at the Mapucho, he didn't manage to get that triangle of uh, rice tiles and I, oh my god, uh, the farms over here, 7 food, 6 food farms, he did get uh, fertility rights at the beginning, so he's getting an extra food point on those, as you can see he got the extra food point from feudalism farms as well, uh, he is gonna need to improve his land, chop some horses out if he actually wants to poke a little bit uh, Seondok. The more pressure he can actually put on Tamlin, the better. Uh, we do have also Holy Side coming up from Sangju, and I do see Pyongyang going for another one of these Seons. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, he's acquiring a lot of tiles of, for free with those Seons. That's not bad. Uh, we do have England also starting to uh, catch up in the productions. He's still far away from um, his um, counterparts, of course, Poundmaker 119. We got um, Oransi here on 79. Uh, Petit Pascal is also. 117 and uh, Oran C79. Uh, it looks like um, we do have a mausoleum of Halicarnassus coming up from London. These lands will be amazing, or I should say the um, water tiles are going to be amazing after he manages to uh, finish that. Uh, and he did start to get a few traders um, going between his cities, not to mention another setter going for the east side. On that cattle tile, he's going to get that extra food. Uh, well, a Royal Navy dockyard, the mountain to um, put the campus next to, and quite a few two tools uh, next to it. Not bad. It definitely would uh, require a few more cities here if he wants to be successful in the next part of the game. Especially with religious settlements, you actually want to expand as much as possible. Otherwise, you're you're just not going to get the full benefits of uh, your nation there. Um, we do have uh, six more turns until the next era. And, uh, of course, the players are starting to acquire the points here. You do see uh, Oransi is trying to get the Great Bath and, at the same time, a Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. He does have uh, one, two, three tiles that he could chop for that uh, wonder and from what I can see he's gonna expand on the east side that's gonna be another continent settle for him a free trade route that's gonna be amazing I'm a bit um, actually curious if he's gonna manage to get there I do see of course uh, he's uh, coming very close to divine right uh, giving him that uh, next year government and he's gonna get the civil service in the meantime uh, he does have a decent challenge about uh, in front of him we'll see uh, we do have uh, Vodero getting it, Novak 15, 10 points away with um, Persia over here. Oh man, this is, I gotta say, this is actually quite uh, uh, painful. I really like Persia and I see 
at the moment he has such a struggle to go against Japan. Uh, didn't quite get into the correct um, range to attack Japan at the beginning when he's when Persia strong. And now is Japan's um, time to be strong. It's, it's just like a big ball of chaotic mess over here for uh, Novak. So he's trying to get that uh, next golden age uh, established. He's trying to get the science. He's trying to get the culture. I don't see him uh, going for his uh, merchants. I believe, uh, oh my god, they're still on the first merchant. They got those um, commercials going and of course they're benefiting from the trade routes. The internal trade routes are amazing on uh, uh, Persia. But still, you you need to get those merchants. Somebody needs to put another one of these commercials down. Now we do have him also going against Hattusa. Hattusa is a city state being held by Tamlin, by um, uh, Korea. And of course, uh, these immortals are starting to wreak havoc onto the walls of uh, Hattusa. The good thing is Hattusa doesn't have a horse in it. Uh, it's, uh, it just has an archer. And of course, with the walls, uh, it's going to be a bit tougher, but not that tough. Uh, what happens if all eight players pass on a great person? It just disappears and it defaults to the next one. Uh, how many goody hearts on that island? Uh, one, two... It's not really an island. It's, as you can see over here, it's a peninsula. Yeah, that, that would be quite a... Wait, you see a third one? <gasps> you're right. You're right. It's a third one over here. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you, closing. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't notice that. We got a Temenaki coming up from Sparta. And I do see, of course, uh, Hatusa is being put under siege here. We do need to see uh, when he's gonna start shooting with the uh, with more immortals. He needs to get them there as soon as possible, and also he needs to get his archer out. I don't know why he put his archer on the right tile. That could be a dead archer during the rollover of the turn. Is this a flat tile or a hill tile? That's a hill, so it can sh it could have shot anyway. What am I talking about? Uh, Nightbot shamelessly plugging uh, his own channel again. <laughs> uh, we did have uh, Colosseum finish on uh, Baumaki quite a few turns ago and of course uh, you do see he's lagging a little bit behind on the science. He did manage to get those uh, awesome campuses going uh, and uh, he does have the production, 135 production. Now we're going for an industrial zone from Mikisiv Wachik which is gonna be over here. It's gonna be a strong one, a plus five between those cities. Now we do have more markets coming out for those uh, extra uh, trade routes and I do see he's uh, now starting to expand. This is the reason he actually doesn't have a lot of science. He waited a little bit to get the second expansion phase going. I think actually this is his third expansion phase going. Has four settlers out. One, two, three, four settlers. Four settlers out and about to expand his cities. And he's going to try to take a cat down. A cat, unfortunately, did manage to get a swordsman uh, right on time. And, and that's going to be a really tough cookie to crack here. I don't think he can actually push through a 40 strength city. While Hatusa is getting more pressure down. Yeah, that... Oh my god, the archer died. Archer died. Unfortunate, but he died. The first victim of uh, the city of Hatusa here. Uh, Novak does have a few weak horses. He's trying to hold on to the power. But he might be forced to get a, a horse out of there. In definitely, bro, bro, just get it out of there. Minimize your losses. You're getting a catapult. It's fine. It's fine. You know, just minimize your losses, bro. Well, let's see what's... Uh, uh, changing over here in the era score screen we do have uh, lotaro 43 52 okay he's uh, still nine points away from getting it uh, vodero did get it monsieur oranci is not there it's not there he's four turns away from mausoleum at halicarnassus we did have him uh, finish his great bath and he is um, gonna expand on another continent here but that's not enough time can he oh he chopped a tile and still did not get the city of london with enough uh, points Ooh, that is so bad that is so bad bro Ooh, that is nasty victoria over here going dark that's gonna be very nasty very nasty. Uh, Novak, I believe he's gonna get his golden age. he's getting uh, Temenaki coming up in two he does have um I'll say this one is it a plus two? Okay. 
I think he's still gonna need points. That's only a plus three, right? You only get three era score from a Temenanki at this era. I don't think you get a plus four. Still gonna need one point from somewhere. Maybe a general? Can he pick a general? He could have done one of these projects for a general. Is he doing it? No, he's actually getting a builder out. Can he chop it? It's coming up next turn. Uh, he might actually get to chop it. Okay, city of Hatusa. Wait, did that city actually kill another horse? Bro, you're, you're bleeding amenities over here. Honestly, you're bleeding amenities. I don't like this. Uh, just feels bad moment. At least Hatusa is going to be a big blow to Tamlin's uh, production here. Uh, on the other side, we do have Petit Pascal with uh, Golden Age. He did manage to get uh, two, four, six cities. And I do see he's going for theater square festivals uh, to recruit some of these great writers. Um, unfortunately for him, Jerusalem was just too big of a cookie to crack here. And even though he was grabbing it with all his might, it just wasn't enough. Jerusalem hold, held strong. We got over here um, ancient walls coming up in two turns from that city center. Of course, you do see Phoenicia did build a few more horses, but still couldn't breach the defenses. Now uh, we got a few more of these settlers also coming up from um, the main cities of Phoenicia while he's getting his campuses going. Uh, Tamlin is uh, looking to go into a dark age here. He's uh, trying to get a holy site from John Ju, uh, and I believe he did already get one from there. We go Sang Ju. Uh, okay, and that is a plus two. Uh, he's gonna get a terracotta army also in six turns. I do believe he might try to chop it out, but he doesn't have enough tiles though, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, more holy sites coming up from Yang San. Oh, wait. No. Is this monasticism Korea? Is this actually monasticism Korea? But that's insane. How can it be? Oh my god. Guys, chat, chat, chat. I'm asking for your support. Is this monasticism Korea? Is this what is this what's gonna happen here? Tamlin is gonna try to stay in a dark age to get monasticism on him. But he doesn't have that much culture to work with. He's gonna be like on 20 culture. And he's gonna get to well, he's gonna get to Quirasias really fast, I gotta say, you know? Uh, yes, you do get war awareness from uh, losing units. Killing units, losing units, basically, you know, everything ha is uh, a mess over there. Uh, Bamaki did manage to get his golden age here, 59 59, and then we do have a uh, Tirhab on 64 out of 57 with uh, Japan. We do need to see also what's going on here on England. England, um, ooh, he jumped up so high, 51 out of 55. Uh, he does have uh, two more turns to affect this. Of course, uh, he did manage to uh, switch into monarchy. Uh, he did manage to get uh, and chop down that mausoleum at Halicarnassus. And from what I can see, he did settle the city on the other side on Sheffield. Got uh, a few swordsmen as well to defend himself from the one, from the north and uh, still needs those four points. Is he going to get something with the four points or not? That's the biggest question here. He does have a hut to pick. Uh, actually, he could have tried to get another hut here with uh, maybe a scout, but he didn't. So that's uh, a bit of a boo-boo. Big boo-boo coming up. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we do have um, him getting a great path in Newcastle upon Tyne. He did go for Pingala, Magnus. Okay, I see Moksha. Really looking forward to see if he's going to get the next four points. Of course, you can get more points from soothing city states, piecing city states, uh, living city states, and so on and so forth. Those could be a thing. Um, they probably already got. Um, uh, the map discovered. I believe uh, both teams do have the map discovered here. And we gotta see if is Tamlin gonna get this or not. Pikeman coming up from his side. Okay, we got um, Mapuche Malon readers uh, preparing in Nag Mapu. And we do see also a bull coming up for him. 
The pikemen are gonna be enough to defend this, by the way. Oh my god, another holy site. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you do know, but I do want to say it out loud here. Monasticism is a card. Uh, wow. Monasticism is a card uh, that gives you plus 75 science in the cities with a holy site, but you do get minus 25 culture in all cities. It's quite a bit of a penalty over here, but if you do manage to... Um, plug at a correct time and you do have a decent amount of uh, culture to work with that is amazing uh, probably the reason he actually is trying to do this wait no he's not who did i see going for theater squares i did see some oh oh it was uh, japan sorry it was japan i saw somebody going for theater squares and i was like really that's the reason okay no it was actually japan over here just trying to be uh, big 50 science and 52 culture still not that big though uh, he does have uh, 84 faith at 10 110 production and from what I can see, he did uh, get to finish his religion. Crusade and Pagoda is coming up for him. While Persia is getting crusaded over here, it's going to be an issue. We do have uh, Tirhab now uh, confident enough to put a city right in the face of uh, Novak. While Novak did uh, lose quite a few units uh, going against the city of Hattusa. Um, we do have him with uh, the army to the north. He's going to need to reposition it to the south if he wants to uh, handle Japan here. Which I'm pretty sure is going to be a challenge. We do have also Kree managing to um, retreat his army from a cat. Wait, Settler lost? Did he take out a Settler here? No. I, did, or did he lose a Settler? What, I think he lost a Settler. What, what, what happened? Definitely a Settler lost. Yeah, the warrior is damaged too, but I don't think you cannot lose settlers from uh, floods anymore. Uh, that's a, a change that was done. Oh well, rip. That that is a big rip. We do have uh, settlers going in the water here to the east side. Looks like uh, Kree is uh, starting to acquire some of these great engineers. Uh, he is uh, working on two great engineer points a turn. Korea is on 4.6. Yeah, hashtag BBG. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be honest. I don't actually know what the kick W means. Um. Okay, so Kick W actually comes from a very famous, what was it, Portuguese or something? Uh, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, something, something. Um, a talk show. There was a talk show with a guy that was laughing with extreme passion. That's what it comes on. So it's like laughing out loud, but it's actually more <laughs> than uh, LOL, you know? Uh, let me actually put it up on the screen here. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to actually uh, get this to show you how to say. There we go. This guy. This guy. This guy is amazing. It just makes you laugh because of his laugh, you know, one of those times, it's amazing. No problem, man, no problem. Glad to help. Uh, let me actually put this up. Uh, we're going into the votes. Let's go for go. Let's go for uh, me and uh, me.
we got uh, Grandmaster Chapel coming up uh, in one from Russia. And uh, now that we did go into the new age, we're going to see who got what. And it looks like um, Oransi did manage to get his golden age. Uh, just barely got it with uh, 56 out of 55 that he would have needed. Uh, we do have uh, all four of them in the golden age. And we got to see here. We got to see uh, Tamlin Dark Age. He did manage to nail it. Is this monasticism? Yes, this is monasticism Korea. 144 science and 24 culture coming up from Tamlin over here. We got uh, Terracotta army coming up from Sangju and quite a few pikemen to defend himself against an upcoming attack from uh, Mapuche from the west side. You do see those uh, Malon Raiders getting ready to pounce. Uh, and of course, uh, Trung Trak with a gel is going to help him uh, defend against this. Uh, he does need to figure out a way to not let him on any of his tiles and I'm pretty sure this is going to happen here. Looks like uh, Tamlin is is quite ready for this uh, we got uh, gold 100 gold it looks like oh my god they actually went for the gold really okay um international trade routes uh, for uh, gold as well cyrus uh, and the chosen player will get an extra trade route capacity and while tirhab did lose two diplo points uh tirhab did manage to get that uh, Moh mahabodhi temple which did gave him a few extra points there uh, but i guess well it is what it is he just lost them He's on uh, two. No, he's on one out of 20 now. One out of 20. No, it's fine. I don't think uh, they were actually uh, looking uh, to get that. But a Tamlin with 172 science is uh, quite an impressive beast over here. <laughs> Uh, we do have him uh, getting those pikemen going. He's going to get the uh, Terracotta army. Oh my god, an extra plus five against Cav units. While uh, Phoenicia is uh, trying to expand a little bit to the northwest. Uh, we do also take a look over here on Dido. See him on uh, 64 science and 86 uh, culture is uh, quite nice. Not to mention we do have him on 162 production. Uh, he did put down an entertainment complex. So he maxes out uh, the amount of culture that he's getting from his theater squares. You can see the plus five and plus sixes uh, over here. Very nice, very nice. And we do have him uh, going for the extra amenity as well from that city center. The game mechanic shows up to the party over here with a f 104 party people. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Oh my god, if you guys don't know TGM, you must know TGM. I, I, I don't know how, like, I don't know if there's a more famous person when it comes to uh, Twitch and, of course, uh, taking care of Civilization 6 community. Amazing, man. Thank you so much for the raid over here. Welcome, welcome. We're looking at the game coming up from the French community. Uh, to view on Tsingi. do you want my Tsingi uh, on eh, versus Les Ornithorynx Roses, which does mean the pink platypuses. Oh yeah, yeah, you heard it here first, you know, the guys with the big beaks, and there's, uh, they are here in the game. Of course, uh, I do have to point out uh, much love, much love, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, TGM. I he, I got a little birdie showing me some news over there about an upcoming event. I hope you're going to be on it, you know, coming up in the next month. TGM, come on, let's go, let's go. Uh, let, let's actually see uh, shout out, big shout out to TGM, by the way. The big shout out, big shout out. Mechanic. The game mechanic. Give him some love, guys. Give me some love. Uh, Tomahawk uh, 79 games. Good evening, sir. I thought I was already following. I love Romanian folk. Uh, some of my best football players in FIFA have been from Romania and a FC Botoshan fan. Oh, interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. I'm, I, I gotta say, I gotta admit, I don't know that much about football. Uh, but I... I can try to help as much as I can. I don't know. <laughs> yes, so uh, love you, actually love you. I uh, like the Watto character from the uh, Wars prequel. Haha. <laughs> Wait, what the Watto? Watto. Let me see. The Watto, Watto, Watto. Oh, oh, I see. I see the guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you wanna get this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's actually take a look at what's going on here uh we just went into the new era here and of course we do have um 
Korea coming up with his Hawachas uh, didn't go for the push to the north. Uh, it looks like he was being pressured by Mapuche from the west side. We got a few Malon Raiders getting in. Next turn, he's going to get that Terracotta army. And you do see he exploded with the science. 186 science and 26 culture. He is using the Monasticism card uh, for um, uh, that extra science uh, coming up in his city centers with a holy site. He built quite a few of them. Uh, and he's going to get the religion quite soon. We do have uh, the Pi Men now actually next to the Mano Raiders. While Apil doesn't have that many of them, he's still going to put a lot of pressure on Korea. And of course, you do see the Pikemen uh, do stand tall against these Malon Raiders. Uh, we do need to see... Um, there we go, man. Amazing. We got Korea over here getting himself that nice and juicy extra promotion coming up from Terracotta Army. While he is attacking with the Hawacha. Oh, man. That's just... <laughs> Look how strong the Hawache is, 64 strength, are you for real bro? That is such a strong unit, anyway. We're going to need him uh, to get the gold from his allies here. That is a major problem, a major stoppage. Uh, Tamlin is eating gold. Tidhab is eating gold. And it doesn't look like Bamaki and Petit Pascal are making enough of it. Uh, we do have him uh, going for statues as well. Coming up in six turns from, Gang, uh, from Sangju. While uh, Pyongyang uh, did manage to get uh, the religion from the north, from Phoenicia. I believe uh, that is Catholicism. Yeah, that is. Uh, I'm a Toydarian Jedi. Mind tricks uh, don't uh, work on me. Man, only money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Toydarian Jedi mind tricks don't work on me. Only money, money. <laughs> yeah, well, that was that was quite um, a trilogy. It's uh, one, two, and three, right? The episodes one, two, and three. He was on um, uh, Tatooine, if I'm not mistaken. When they were, uh, how do, not on that win, was it that win? I think it was right on the with the races. I believe, I believe it was with the races, right? The, the guy with the mechanic, uh, he was the um, quote unquote owner. Uh, well, this game money will be an issue for sure. We do have uh, over here. As you can see, Bawaki needing to play some more of those commercials doesn't have a lot of um, adjacency for them. He is uh, getting those markets done and I'm pretty sure he's going to need to get uh, at least a bank in his capital city where he's trading with all of those trade routes. That is a very good bank for Buck over there if he does manage to get that. Now, on the other side, we do have um, actually to take a look at all of their respective uh, Golden Age options. Uh, we got Apiol coming up over here with uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age, 44 Science and 82 Culture. Uh, on uh, Mapuche, he is starting to pressure his next door neighbor, and as you can see, he's starting to pillage a few tiles. I'm actually quite surprised Tamlin is not trying to push in and take out his opponent here. He could actually take out a few Malon Raiders here and there. Uh, you do want, if you have the choice, you do want to actually uh, poke at the Manor Raiders and take them down. The more uh, your opponent will benefit from, uh, the more problems you're going to have. Uh, we do have Victoria, 52 science and 55 culture with uh, 62 gold at 10. And you do see the 154. Pro okay, now this is more like it. This is the Victoria we know, right? A lot of production coming up for him. Uh, 162 production. Okay, this is more like it. Now, he's actually leading the way in the production screen for his team. Uh, we got Vodero, 56 science and 139 culture. 152 faith at 10 with 100. 22 production very nice very nice and of course you do see he's getting a few more of these um, books in is uh, starting to actually put cities right in the face of Phoenicia. No fear, no fear from Vodero. I like this. Uh, he's going to need to put some faith uh, where his mouth is, though, uh, to buy out those uh, units and, of course, send them towards his opponent if he wants to do so uh, and take over or start the war against Phoenicia. We got uh, Novak with 55 cents and 79 culture right next to Japan, which is getting bigger. And of course, you do see horses uh, pre-built over here from Tirhav. A lot of them. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 horses pre-built by uh, Monsieur uh, Tirhab. Uh, he is on uh, 69 cents with 97 cultures, going for machinery in two. And I do believe these uh, horses could benefit from an upgrade here. It's the amount of gold that's struggling uh, to get there. We don't actually have him um, managing to get that much gold uh, from his styles. He didn't put down harbors, didn't put down commercials uh, for uh, Japan over here. 
we do have japan by the way the pen passion voice this time he is uh, gonna go for a little bit more uh, goal per 10 but not that much you do see a few horse and courses coming out uh, from his series and uh, i'm pretty sure uh, perja could handle these uh, relatively easily especially with the knights coming off from his series uh, they are gonna try still gonna try to go for the pillages uh, he's probably gonna try to defend himself against the uh, mapuche uh, also yeah melon readers coming up on the west side as well uh, Dido with uh, Penbash and Voice Gold range. We do have him with, um, let's see over here, two, four, six, eight, nine series. A lot of campus research projects coming up from him. This means we're getting very close to um, uh, getting or uh, discovering Newton. We got Galileo Galilei coming up next. And of course, uh, he, they are all trying to get the points for it. We got Jerusalem finally under siege, but still that city stands tall with two arches. He's managing to take out, man. It's just Jerusalem over here is basically MVP of this game. I mean, I don't know what to say over here, but if I would put a poll on the stream, I'm pretty sure Jerusalem, it's up there. Like it's probably the most powerful city in the game. Uh, Sivcon, good evening, sir, and welcome. Hello, how is the game going? It's very good, it's very good, sir. Also, no clear winner yet. It's a Highlands map, so we expect a long game. Exactly what Angie Jimmy is saying over there. Uh, right now, they are doing the uh, the gold race. Yes, uh, did you win your match yesterday? I did not, Harley the Spider. I did not, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, am I looking for Monasticism Korea? Yes, yes, that is, that is Monasticism Korea. Also on Korea, we do have um, Dark Age, as you can see over here. He did uh, need to defend against Mapuche, which is uh, trying to get in there. Now we do have a few more horses, a few more units coming off from uh, the series of Korea. While he's gonna get, uh, he's gonna try to get a few free ones from Statue of Zeus. Very good damage coming off from the Hawachas. These series with the walls are extremely strong. Uh, with the Hawacha power, he got the power. Uh, we do have a Cree with a pen passion voice called Rich 99 science. Uh, well, I guess uh, 99 problems, but uh, science ain't one. Bamaki over here is gonna get his uh, culture as alongside that science with 112 coming off from his cities. Uh, he did manage to also get 251 production, extremely good production when it comes to this era. The biggest problem is the gold generation coming off for them. They cannot upgrade as many units as they can. Uh, or as they want to and this is something that uh, this is a problem that they will need to find a solution for uh, and APL is setting up uh, okay he's trying to get out of there he's trying to um, save his malorator going to the north next to Vodero scout I guess uh, they just started new era they could have had 400 science turn 70 I believe he has seven holy science cities yes and no oh my god Mapuche breaching the defenses Oh, breach, 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 breach. That's a problem. That is a problem. Maybe night. Attack it with night. Kill it with night. There we go. Okay. So that's uh, another one taken down. Okay, there aren't that many manual readers available, but they did manage to acquire a decent amount of gold, by the way, from the pillaging of uh, the mines. I see one, I see, uh, and the second one was pillaged here. Uh, Diplo Quarter was pillaged to the north. That's a, that's a culture, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Diplo Quarter. It's pillage, 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 pillage. Where is pillage? Wait, bro. Pillage, pillage award, culture, yes, pillage award, yes. Oh, did you guys see? Oh my god, okay, I need to ask this. Uh, did you see Midnight Sun's stream? Yes, no. What's that game? Quick poll coming up over here in the chat. I wanna see your interest in midnight sign first of all i want to know if uh, you saw the stream earlier from a fire axis uh, they showed off uh, how the mechanics of the game works how the graphic looks how the um, 
Uh, they explained a little bit about uh, what's going to happen in, uh, in the game, the storyline, and so on and so forth. What are your possibilities? Uh, and it does look like an awesome game. So I do want to kind of gather uh, if you would like to watch it or not. Oh, my God. A lot of you don't know what it is. What? Oh, man. Okay. Well. Give me a second over here, and I think I may have what you need. Midnight Suns. There we go. This is not actually the live stream, but it, it is somebody that streamed the live stream, if, if it makes sense. Can take a look over there. We got basically all of the heroes in an XCOM type of game. Uh, none of his campuses is coupled with the other campuses, though. Hope we can see them. Wait, what? Ooh, I meant to have helicopter push. Uh, I'm not sure if Korea is gonna have that much science, though. Uh, he's on two, only on 207. He is probably gonna try to go to, through the uh, middle tree and the bottom tree. I do see him going for the politics. The diplomatic service is gonna come up next. Uh, and uh, from the north, I do see Russia is also encroaching with a few of these uh, horses. Now, you gotta remember, Vodero, Russia does have a uh, Cossacks, which are going to be extremely powerful if he wants to go uh, that route. Uh, at the moment, I do see him going for education. He doesn't even have uh, castles when it comes to the science. He wasn't that big. Uh, Cossacks do come around at military science. And we do see his uh, belly on 158 science with 150 culture. So, of course, of course, might be a thing here at some point, but not now. Uh, we do have Bamaki here just getting as strong as possible. 136 science with 121 culture. I'm actually quite uh, surprised we actually had over here England uh, trying to get uh, a second pen Russian voice instead of free inquiry, especially with uh, Kree next to him. Uh, it feels like at uh, the moment Kree is managing to outsim his uh, neighbor quite uh, strongly. Uh, 264 production coming up from him, a lot of food, 223, and of course, uh, we do see him. He has the option to put down a few more of these. Um, Wonders with the uh, Isodor of Miletus, he is going to manage to get a uh, decent amount of production towards Wonders. He just got also Ib Khaldun as a scientist, not bad, not bad. And uh, Newton got recruited by Phoenicia. Now, I'm so burnt out on superheroes uh, that I can't get excited by anything Marvel has. Wait, really? Uh, Marvel, not did I say Marvel? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Wait, you mean to say you're watching too much Disney? That that's what you're saying over there. Okay, let's take a look at the bulliness of uh, Korea. He, oh, Mapuche getting in, getting into the juicy part. He got into the meat. <laughs> and it looks like at the moment, Tamlin is going to have an issue. He needs to stop these malodidas from pillaging all of his lands. The Statue of Zeus coming out the next turn. And uh, as you can see over here, he does have a few pikemen that are going there. Uh, he's going to get quite a few uh, units coming up from that city center. And uh, I do believe he's going to need to get uh, some more units from Yangs as well uh, he is also on the tracks of another Malo leader going towards the east side over here he doesn't have enough strength between his units to take it out entirely and that is I guess uh, protected by uh, those tiles are protected by uh, Narcher here in Yangsan I mean DC doesn't do anything uh, good you know, so not much to get excited for even without the but wait really oh my god Simomuni that's like, you know, like a palm in the face. Oh my god, this is like the war uh, of the superstars over here. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Ah, uh, come on, bro. You, you gotta love them both for trying. And this is amazing, by the way. I, For example, for me from Romania, uh, coming up from so far away from the American culture and the um, um, 
how to call it the comic book culture of america i would say i didn't actually get to experience the comic books so now seeing them in movies is like everything new for me of course some are good some are bad, some are not that good and some are amazing but still it's uh, it's so good to see uh, so many of them are being put into shows uh, Man or Raider has been nerfed on their pillage. Yes, they only get one pillage now. That's it. I think a pillage costs four movement, if, if I'm not mistaken. So they only get to move and pillage once. Uh, Kree really can be big on any map. Trades power. Yeah, Kree is just awesome here. I uh, couldn't manage to take out the cat though. It's another one of those city states that managed to be more powerful than his uh, opponent here. Uh, we do have also i see phonisha getting attacked by uh, russia from the north i want to see exactly where these mapuche units are going looks like one of them is going to try to get uh, some health back from the wheat tile oh april going in and pillaging another zone tamlin loses another 25 science here while he's getting uh, more gold and more gold oh the traders he's getting into the traders the meat <laughs> One man or either went down, but it paid for himself a triple. That is amazing. Of course, uh, that's the power of the of the man or readers here. Uh, we do need to see uh, when uh, Tamlin is going to get back his um, uh, science, and at the same time, when he's going to get rid of all of these uh, nasty enemies. Wait, did Statue of Zeus get, just get one turn? Who got Statue of Zeus? No, not here. Somebody got Statue of Zeus. Oh, I see Statue of Zeus. Oh, Nancy did get it from Korea. Oh no. Okay, the the big the big uh, problem. The big turnaround, Oransi is uh, gonna get quite a few free units uh, next to the city of Newcastle upon Tyne. He did finish that Statue of Zeus and we do see him uh, trying to get the extra science. He does have um, more cities coming up on the east side, on the North American continent. Uh, he did get uh, Manchester to the south uh, with another campus. And I do see uh, he is uh, definitely going to need to defend against uh, this uh, Kree. I'm actually quite surprised he's not trying to poke in a little bit with a horse, uh, see what's there. I'm pretty sure uh, Vodero is aware of what's going on, especially with uh, the spy. He probably can relate to his uh, ally over here. Hey, you can go in, you know, it's free gold over here on the commercial you can just take what you want now even though uh, Bamaki did manage to get a lot of stats up unfortunately he didn't actually build an army and he keeps on expanding which is I gotta say not bad but it's not actually gonna help you defend that much especially when uh, you have uh, extremely fast units coming against you you gotta be careful you gotta be careful we did have an attack coming up from Japan on uh, Persia and you do see those courses are dealing a decent amount of damage against the Persian Knights uh, but it was good moves coming up from uh, Novak uh, to defend against this while I do see Tirhab is well aware Mapuche can come against him and he is uh, putting a few defensive Knights in the south uh, to defend against uh, this attack from Apul. Uh, getting quite a few of them out. Uh, did he go for Grandmaster Chapel? Yes, he did get GMC, so that means uh, he has the ability to bind the units with faith. Oh, I need to... Okay. Oh man, Bamaki just jumped up to 308 production very nice 16 pop city in the capital still has uh, isodor over there i really hope isodor is gonna get something juicy for him let's take a look at uh, korea korea getting bullied more and more a lot of traders being um, pillaged over here between him and phonesia and i do notice at the moment uh, korea yeah still uh, doesn't manage to do the full damage against these manor raiders i think one of them died though one of the manor raiders and there's another one to the south here and i do notice of course uh, he still has those two alive there to the north uh guangzhou uh, unfortunately is still gonna get burned i do see the um, library got pillaged earlier and the manor raider will probably get another pillage next turn <laughs> there aren't uh, or i guess it depends on the first moves if it does manage to uh, take out that unit or not There, there aren't that many options for him. 
We do have a lot of writers uh, recruited by Russia, and I'm pretty sure he's uh, trying to get that culture going. Uh, he's only on 49 tourism. It's not that big at 1065, and of course, we do see uh, over here um, Ayutthaya is being kept by Tirhab, that is... Uh, Japan, that is Japan. Uh, Tirhab is also uh, generating 134 culture. We got Bamakyo on 151. Uh, they are putting a decent amount of uh, defense against uh, this culture victory, a possible culture victory here. Uh, Vodero with Russia is on 44 internals, while we do have uh, domestics, I mean, that's the correct word. Well, we do have Bamakyo on 42. Our museums coming out from Novgorod, our museum coming out from Yaroslav, uh, more cities on the west side from Russia, he did manage to settle quite a few of them. I'm still surprised he's not getting one to the south, but he did get go and put those uh, non-freshwater cities to the south over here towards uh, Korea, especially after he found out um, Mapuche is going to push into him. Uh, it, it did make quite a bit of sense to uh, get as much land as possible to put more districts and of course make use of that. No. Oh my god, Korea must be slapping himself right now. Can you, did you see that? That the weak Mallory that somehow managed to get the trade route. I, wow. Just wow. They moved away from the trade route. I don't know how that happened. Um, he probably shift entered. That's what happened. But you know what I mean. It's like how could he actually let that happen? That's what I meant. Now we have the pushback coming out from Persia into Japan's land. We do have uh, the courses defending here, walls going up in uh, Otsu. Uh, and I do see in Japan just wanted to retreat over here. That was a lot of gold being invested without any kind of return. Uh, the only return would be, of course, uh, Persia cut an army out. But I don't think that's actually going to uh, matter that much. The gold generation is 100% with uh, Les Ornithorynx Roses. And you do see that's a problem that 100% uh, uh, TV Monsingi needs to figure out a solution for. Uh, I, we do have more of these commercials coming up from uh, the cities of uh, Kri. While Akta Kahoop is going to get uh, campus, we do have um, Kapeyak Waskonam uh, coming up with a commercial. Uh, PPK is coming up with a university, Mascotur University, Misanabi putting down another commercial. There we go. But these are zero adjacency, one adjacency commercials, not extremely strong when it comes to um, uh, gold generation and he didn't get oh come on the bank you gotta get this the bank it's so important Bamaki it's so important for you to get the bank it is extremely extremely important for you and your team like at the moment they're bleeding 39 gold a turn while they're making like what 82 something like that yeah 82 gold that's just not enough gold. If they want to go for any kind of timing, they're going to need to base everything on their uh, hard production rather than pre-builds, which is just not an efficient way of going about things. In this game in particular, like in Civilization VI. And from the other side, we just have insane amount of golds. Unlimited golds being created here by Apiol. Hello? 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 Is is Tamlin not actually benefiting from first moves? Is this what's happening? That might that might actually be an answer to a lot of uh, the things here. Oh, this is a dead man raider. No more movement for him. This is D E A D. Okay, there we go. That's one dead. Okay, this one. This time, no? Damn it. Anyone, anyone knows Tamlin here in the chat? Please raise your, raise your hand up and tell me does he not have first moves? Does he actually have very late first moves? Does he load in late in the turn? Because it would explain what we've seen happening over here. Maybe he's distracted, you know, I want to find the reason. Maybe he's distracted, maybe he sees something extremely nice next to him, or he has a show he's watching, I know, you never know with these players, you know? We 
let's see we got uh, bomaki settlers coming around we got trebuchets it looks like uh, those traders keep on going and he did put down that's what i was expecting here for a bit of city at some point and of course uh, he did want to chop the stone rather than uh leave it right that and put of course a formula city over it i do see he is also putting down encampments which uh, does give us an idea of what's going to happen next he's going to try to go for the tanky tanks which is uh yeah it's uh, you know a, a decent a natural expansion of the um, Cree empire 144 uh, 154 science 152 culture nationalism he's gonna go top three industrialization then into tanks I do have him uh, needing to get quite a few encampments if he wants to be successful on that. Uh, I do see he also did manage to put down a few of these uh, good industrial zones, so he gets the production from them uh, while he is uh, starting to expand a little bit his uh, tiles. Okay, not bad. Uh, on, uh, I'm a bit worried about Japan here. Didn't quite explode when it comes to the science and the culture, but he does have a decent amount of... Um, faith to use uh, he is using his production in fukuoka to get statue of liberty with that extra um, culture that he did manage to generate he is gonna this he did manage to discover civil engineering much faster which does give him a way that we got uh, peter starting to acquire those tourists while you do see tir have just got the first musket of the game here upgraded in the city of otsu not bad he's gonna get that city with a lot of defense uh, I'm not sure if he was talking about the manual readers, but he did say something about the pillage once per movement. Yes. Uh, did I not answer that? I, I think I answered that. Did I not? Oh my god. I'm sorry if I didn't. I meant to. I think I did. Uh, we do have uh, Tamlin over here needing to replay, uh, rebuild his uh, stats. Uh, he did get uh, bullied quite a bit by Mapuche. And you do see uh, Tamlin does manage to do incredible amounts of damage to those uh, Mano Raiders. Uh, now Mapuche was pressuring to the south of Omori. And uh, he's going to try to take out uh, Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya, Ayutthaya is uh, Tidhubs. And of course that extra culture has been uh, building up on uh, Tirhab for quite some time now. Uh, we do have the amphitheaters coming out now from Osaka, Kyoto, Nagoya. He's going to spam them out as much as possible. He did get pagodas in his cities uh, in the holy sites. Of course earlier we did see that. While Russia did not get to finish his religion, neither did Phoenicia. And Korea went for religious community with Tithe. Uh, he's going to get a lot of gold if he starts up his trade routes again with Phoenicia. A lot of the loss of uh, gold generation here was, of course, uh, because of the loss of uh, trade draws between them. Now they're going to need to rebuild them. And you do see Phoenicia is trying to go for a lot of calf pre-builds. A lot of courses coming up from him. Uh, we do have Petit Pascal, 129 science, 149 culture. Uh, trying to go against Vodero, or at least uh, pre-building uh, quite a bit against Vodero. I think he should be fine here. Uh, from what I can see, he's also trying to go top three. Cartography coming up in two, and civil engineering in two. Uh, we do have him with um, nationalism as well while i'm pretty sure uh, russia did get nationalism also uh, he is quite late when it comes to cossacks Vodero only has uh, 84 science and uh, he does have a lot of culture 183 culture it's uh it's quite a problem though because that uh, man that uh, military science is gonna take a while to discover here he's uh, gonna need a lot of that uh, where was uh, here? I thought I did go down. Uh, Japan has a bit of, of a few night. Well, I guess a night, not a few night. It's one single night to the south of Sendai that he could uh, try to take out a Mano Raider here and probably uh, trade one for one. 13 turns for Fukuoka to finish Statue of Liberty. I didn't notice anybody else build Statue of Liberty, but I can quickly check if we have somebody trying to go for that wonder. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I don't see anybody. Maybe here. No. No, we don't have anybody though. Uh, I like the fact that Mapuche did start to trade with uh, Persia. I don't think actually Persia st started to trade um, with uh, Mapuche. Uh, Persia does like its internals, especially since throughout the discovery of the civics and the text, you do get uh, extra yields on them, extra culture, extra gold. It's, uh, it's quite nice. It's amazing actually. A lot of uh, things coming up from those internal trade routes. But not enough gold though. Not a lot, not the same amount of gold as, as um, coastal trade routes with another nation. 
Uh, I do have to point out we got a lot more stats coming up from Tuvi Monzingi overall. We got 130 science, 220 science, 166, 100. While on the other side, you can immediately see the defense 102, 141, 84, and 137. It's uh, quite a bit of a difference here between them. Uh, also, the production uh, again is with the TVMT. The biggest problem is the gold generation. Finally, Tamlin did manage to um, get zero, uh, as in he is not losing any more uh, gold while well, Tidhab is still losing a minus uh, 20 it's uh, it's fine he's stabilizing he's stabilizing We do have uh, Korea actually managing to push all of those mana leaders. Yeah, I think uh, only one survives to the southeast of Yangsan. So now he's uh, going to go for the repairs. Uh, he's also getting Grandmaster Chapel. And I got to say, he did manage to bank up a decent amount of face generation. But I don't think it's enough to justify GMC in Grandmaster Chapel. I would have thought he would go for something like um, Forer Ministry. In these type of games, it's quite important to go for um, the extra influence that you get from uh, City States. From uh, having the uh, City States sues so uh, it's quite uh, a question mark for me baffling for me i think it's the correct word that he did not want to go there anyway um who was it Tithab? uh no perit pascal did manage to recruit uh, newton uh, yeah, so it was uh, Phoenicia that did manage to recruit Newton. Uh, finally, he managed to actually go against uh, the city of Jerusalem and take it out. As you can see over here, he does have a few uh, horses that could turn into horses and take out that city center. Come on, you got to take it out like, you know, bigger units. Just build a catapult, bro. One single... Ca oh my God, that city is going to get medieval walls. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I, I, I gotta do this. I'm gonna do this. What do you think? Dot, dot, dot. Jerusalem over Phoenicia or Phoenicia over Jerusalem. And of course, the famous cake W. Let's go. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What, what, what happened over here? What happened? Remember, this is a city state that the Petit Pascal has been fighting from the beginning of the game over here. It's incredible. Incredible. Oh, Bamaki has built the first bombard. Okay, he's uh, starting to go against the cat with stronger units. Okay, that's good, that's good. He definitely needs a uh, musket man at least if he wants to go there. Uh, starting to do campus research projects. I see art museum. He did finish Forbidden City, by the way, from Mikisi Wachik. Going for Kilva Kisiwani next. Uh, Kisiwani. Uh, so he can get uh, the extra envoys. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to try to uh, nail these um, two city states. Uh, of course, Vodero and Bamaki uh, are keeping the science city states. Vodero on one team, Bamaki on the other. APL is keeping a hold of both Venice and Hansa, and that would uh, that is actually a major problem. Uh, him being keeping both gold city states on one team, I'm pretty sure uh, Bamaki over here would want that, but he definitely favors uh, getting the science more than anything else, uh, having Fez. Okay, guys, guys, big poll coming up in the stream chat. You can vote uh, right now. We got the uh, bombards being bought here. What? Okay, interesting. Uh, interesting. We do have Bamaki actually uh, getting up for something. I do see he's uh, getting more um, uh, settlers to the west side, and of, of course I do see England over here does have quite a few defensive units. If uh, he's thinking about England, he did manage to get to 158 science and 92 culture. Uh, looking at the okay, looking at the um, continents, England is not gonna have a good red coat against um, Cree. He's not gonna get the uh, plus five coming up over here for uh, Bamaki we do have him uh, going against the cat soon enough again a cat is gonna get medieval walls uh, and I do see Bamaki is gonna get another courser over there and to pillage a few tiles maybe get a builder too 
On uh, Japan, he did manage to get uh, his defenses going, and Novak is starting to get up uh, with a few more trebuchets on him and a few more knights. I do see he got one immortal core there. Uh, not really that strong to actually go against these uh, Japanese uh, courses, especially when uh, they end up fighting against the muskets. I do want to see Persia's stats though. He's 152 cents, 112 culture. Okay, so he's a bit bigger than Tirhab's 109. But this is coming up uh, in a few turns, in three turns. I think he should do quite well to just wait a little bit more. I heard a lot of uh, units upgrading. Oh, calf time! Woo! -hoo! We got calf time! Bet it, Pascal, getting those uh, calves coming up from LPQI. Uh, we got uh, some of them uh, coming up from the city of Tyre. They are gonna disembark over here to the southeast of Yaroslav and they're gonna try to poke in with all their might. Russia is going to get the gold from his uh, allies and of course he does have Corsairs uh, technology. The Cavs are stronger than the Corsairs uh, and we do have a lot of them. They did manage to keep us uh, much gold as possible. It's a big question if Vodero is going to manage to get his Cossacks. If he does manage to get the Cossacks that should be a uh, good enough unit to defend against any Cav unit. The biggest uh, issue over here it doesn't look like that. A second army coming up from uh, the city of Tyre. We got four of them, five units uh, coming up from there. And of course, we do need to see uh, how much damage uh, he's going to do with them. I don't see a general though. So uh, no extra movement, no extra damage coming up for them. Uh, there is a spy coming up from Russia and I, oh, in one of the Phoenician cities. A spy coming up from Phoenicia and St. Petersburg. So they're equaling themselves uh, in the extra intelligence. Okay, interesting, interesting. This is probably gonna be a last move attack here. I do have to say, uh, Vodero does benefit from uh, Grandmaster Chapel, and he can use that faith uh, per turn to buy out units. He is only on 138 in the bank, and he would definitely benefit from a lot more of these um, crossbows that uh, can shoot back uh, against the calves. Uh, we do see him with a decent amount of courses that, again, he would actually need to place in a certain way, uh, not to let uh, three of these calves attack one of his units. Yeah, we do see some of them are actually as strong as the calves if they do have enough units next to them. That's actually quite good. And Gamma Training Project coming up from Novgorod for a general. While we do have 155 points needed for the next general, it is going to be John Dark. In the capital of Russia, Vodero is going to go for St. Basil Cathedral. He's going to get the culture, the faith, and um, the extra production. Very nice. Okay, last moves coming up from Phoenicia. I'm actually quite surprised he's moving to the west side instead of going to the north. I would have thought he's going to try to breach Yaroslav here, uh, going for the mines. Uh, he is going to try to disembark and, and going to go in. Uh, looking at the southeast, we do have uh, Mapuche getting back into his cities, trying to uh, sim a little bit more. He is only on a 94 signs with 170 culture. He is uh, putting down a few of these industrial zones and putting more campuses but it, by the looks of the, how much production he needs to get those campuses he is uh, quite far behind when it comes to um, getting his uh, cities up to specs. Uh, 178 production though uh, throughout his empire. Not that big, not that big. Lagging behind his allies which uh, who are all of them over 200. Now uh, it looks like they are starting to catch up to TVMD and they do have the economy to back this up with the uh, APU making 142. Oh, that's where uh, its uh, stats are coming from. Okay, are going towards, I mean. We got uh, Victoria on 49, Vodero is on, already on minus 20, we got Novak here on 82. And then on the other side, we do have a lot of science coming up from these boys uh, with uh, Tamlin on 260 science. He's going to get to steal uh, next turn. And from what I can see, he does have um, only three, only um, two more turns. Yeah, two more turns of this uh, monasticism. Uh, he is going to go, let's see, me actually see, in a heroic age. He's 93 out of 75. He's actually going to be the only one in a heroic age next era. Okay, let's see what's going on here. 
So he's going for both. He's going north and he's going west. The west is going to be a big issue. He's going to, at least Petit Pascal is going to get the pillages, but I doubt he's actually going to make much more of a splash here. Vodero is six turns away from military science and he should be able to withstand this attack until he gets military science. It looks like uh, at the moment Petit Pascal is not going to have the success he was looking for attacking into Russia. Still going to put a lot of pressure on that economy though and I'm pretty sure he, this is one of the things he was looking. Okay, actually he can, he can attack through. He, wait, he can breach. Why is he not? Oh, he wants the pillages. Okay, he wants the pillages first and then go for the bridge. Okay, sure. Getting a few more calves here. I do see uh, Korea also getting in with uh, the Hawaches on Mexico City. He got those steel walls working. Uh, and I do notice, unfortunately, he couldn't actually get the new army up. Uh, his army is uh, put around his city so he, they can defend against another possible man or raider attack. That's the fear of Mapuche coming up over here for him. We got Imhotep on uh, Alhambra, or Willy Mapu. Looks like we got the workshop coming up in Piku Mapu. Uh, and he's uh, probably going to try to go... For to towards factories at some point april is going also ballistics coming up in five um i do want to see what Cree is doing because again quite in important what he's going to end up doing we do have uh, him trying to go against the city of a cat getting a few pillages from that city center they at least do have a decent amount of gold in the bank here especially while uh, the pillages have started he's uh, getting uh, those commercials down and i do see him going for the encampment training projects that's another encampment put down from him uh he would have a third district here from this city which at the moment is not placed I'm uh, quite curious what is he going to go for. Would hope it's going to be another encampment because he definitely needs a lot more. Uh, he got one from Maha Sahihikan and of course uh, we did start to see the great generals coming up from the Renaissance and Industrial Era. He does need to go through quite a few of them to get those uh, general points. Quite a few projects that was uh, what uh, uh, that's what I was referring to. Uh, we got Mikisi Vojic with uh, Kilva Kisivani coming up uh, in one turn, and I do see at the moment England uh, is managing to get the science and the culture, but he is again Penbash and voice. Uh, he's gonna lose a lot of that um, uh, pen, uh, a lot of that culture. While you do see Bamaki just exploded to 248 science and 173 culture, is uh, gonna keep that science, and this is gonna be an issue. In the next part of the game 453 production as well he's probably gonna uh, attack uh, england with uh, tanks and have a lot of them uh, and tall ken good evening sir and welcome who would you say are the most likely to get the top three places uh, two and three places this game uh, overall in the stats uh, in the score screen um hmm. irrespective of who gets the win as in, so this is a 4v4, right? So it's uh, the, there's, if you, there are a few ways of going about this. If you look at the score screen here, uh, you can see uh, some of them are making the, their own points over here, but some of uh, them are intermingled from the two teams. Yeah, no problem, no problem, man. It's a good question, though. It's a good question. Uh, actually, I kind of cheated there, <laughs> opening up the score screen. But I would have definitely picked up Kree and Russia being uh, one of the top ones. Uh, next up, I would have thought uh, I would see uh, something like um, uh, Daido or Japan. Uh, and I think one of those was here. Let's see. Is it Daido? Yeah, it's Daido. And it's England, actually, not Japan. Interesting. Japan. Oh, no, it's uh, Japan. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, there we go. I, I got them. <laughs> it is what it is. Bro. 
uh, we can take a look at the end but honestly uh, looking at how the dynamic will be played out uh, i would think uh, actually we're gonna see england over here die to tanks coming up from uh, Cree so england is not gonna come up in the first ones i don't think russia is gonna manage to push phonicia but i do think um, uh, korea is gonna get uh, tanks at some point it's a bit of a problem with the culture though he's not gonna i don't think he's even gonna have oh he's gonna get core tanks okay he's going for helicopters oh bro well i guess helicopters it is now uh, we do have uh, Fonisha breaching through the defenses of even uh, cored up coursers over here. For, uh, you do see uh, he's also coring up his calves and uh, dealing a lot of damage against the Russian coursers. Russia is still five turns away from military science and Tamlin just disconnected. <gasps> woo, woo, woo. Somebody called the Kranken wagon. <laughs> okay, I do have a big question, big poll big poll coming up over here would you like to see how do you say in english um Okay, a big poll, big poll, please, 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 please. Would you like to see summary of games? So, for example, on YouTube, summary of games, five minutes max, just, just giving you a short story of uh, what happened throughout the game and then you can check it out for yourself on uh, the video on the video on demand or uh, of course coming up on the live stream oh okay we got we got a majority over here okay and then i guess it's another question would you still watch the full game if you saw the summary <laughs> you know oh man i need to put another question here maybe answer in the chat maybe you can see some yeses here in the yes or no's in the chat for uh, Tamlin to reconnect and I do hope uh, we're not gonna see the, that many desyncs anymore fingers crossed fingers crossed I hope uh, it's gonna go fine Stink Miner, I would still watch the full video to see how it played out. Something like a highlights of last match would be nice. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to get something like that, but it's 
it's something that I, I need to keep on working to see what kind of a format we can uh, go and of course uh, how much uh, effort does it take to uh, get everything small. But yeah, that's very good feedback. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try to get some, um, I'll say, uh, tests going. See what you guys like. See what you would like to see or what information you would like to have in the um, video on demand and stuff like that. Is he connected? Oh, he's still joining. Oh, that's it. Okay, so now we find out. He actually has a, I'll say a slow computer here. So he has been uh, loading quite slow during the turns. We might need to uh, reload before this at some point. I'm pretty sure uh, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, let me see. Yes, we got a holy Korea, Gober Dragon 13. Good evening, sir. We got actually monasticism Korea. He just, I think, got out of monasticism or he is going to get out. Of, yeah, he did get out of monasticism. Um, and uh, now he is in a heroic age. He went dark age last time and he had a lot of science output from his cities. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Kind words, Snake Miner. Thank you. Thank you. I do my best over here to give that entertainment, you know, entertainment value. That's why we're here. That's why we love Twitch, right? Uh, being on Twitch over here, trying to get the best games, trying to see uh, what we love. Yeah, honestly, it's been a long time since I've also seen uh, Monasticism Korea. Last time I've seen Monasticism used as a card, it was on Rome and it was big Asticos using it. Monasticos, you know. Hey, Potia Comax. Uh, I agree with her. I like would be nice. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Interesting. Thank you. That's awesome feedback. Awesome. Wait, did I? Okay, there we go. I don't know for what reason my alt kept pressed was still pressed and whatever it is what it is okay so now going into the next round we do have uh, almost all of the players uh, seven players out of eight in a dark age while the tamlin is going to be in a heroic uh he does have a chance to take mexico city here i don't think he actually took another city so that will be his um doesn't actually have a lot of units to upgrade with and this is going to be an issue uh, while uh, petit pascal is going to try to um, attack into vodero and uh, take out a few of his uh, units over here uh, to slow down his uh, progress i'm pretty sure uh, vodero um, is going to try to use that faith per turn to buy out uh, Cossacks if he needs to. Now with uh, the pen brush and voice gone from Novak and uh, Victoria, they did go down considerably in the goal per turn, but still April is up there with 129 per turn. Quite surprising, actually. England doesn't generate uh, that much gold. Uh, we do have him uh, now going for his Cuirassiers. And from what I can see, again, Cree is not actually matching this army size. Uh, we do have uh, 639 military for uh, Oransi, while Bamaki is only on 400. And his military is way, way out of position for any kind of defense. He is um, relying on two things. First of all, the power projection that he has, as in it's a big empire. He has the stats he has the science he has the culture uh, so he's probably thinking okay my enemy is not gonna attack me now because i am so big and powerful <laughs> yeah but he doesn't have units there so you never know let's see what's going on here uh let's go for uh recon let's go for uh religious city states and let's go for uh, me uh recon religion me
Wait, was that? Yep. Man, yeah, Jerusalem is just. And Jerusalem is MVP, bro. Oh my god, look at this city state. It's still big. That's a little effort to edit a Civ 6 multiplayer game, even just getting the highlights because they are so long and that's a lot of footage to go through. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, worried about, but I guess until I'm gonna do, I'm not actually, I would say, I need to actually see, like go through one, two, three of them to actually see. Uh, just being seemingly unconstant. Uh, yes, basically, uh, England didn't want to poke at him, even though uh, you can see Kree only has like swordsmen and courses here to the south, and uh, he was just left alone to keep on simming. Uh, we do have uh, Fonisha also trying to pressure uh, Russia with uh, calf course, and he's doing a decent amount of damage, even against those uh, coarser cores of uh, Russia. Uh, we do need to see if uh, Fonisha is going to put more units on the map because it doesn't look like he's going to power through and I'm pretty sure the Bodero here is going to get his uh, Cossacks. Uh, three turns for Cossacks for uh, military science and he is going to get a strong enough unit to defend against uh, these calf cores. Uh, the extra plus five coming up from the Cossacks, the core ability and so on are going to be all important points coming up there. I'm sorry for the noise. Now we do also need to see uh, what the production looks like between the two teams now. Uh, it does definitely look like uh, Fonisha over here uh, is uh, gonna have the production over uh, Vodero, uh, but of course you have to take into account that um, faith as well. Uh, we do have 311 production for Perit Pascal, while he didn't actually get the full, his full shipyards going and the, these other industrial zones. Uh, this is uh, gonna be quite an important part of his uh, next up uh, development. On uh, Kree, we do have him uh, still warring the cities of uh, Cad. As you can see, he has uh, managed to pillage all of the mines of a Cad, and the bombard did uh, shoot quite a few times against that uh, fortification health. We got the uh, encampment training projects coming up from Mascot to Factory. Coming up from Mikisiv Wachik. Oh my god, somebody's talking about me. We got. Um, Actually, multiple factories coming up from uh, Bamaki. Uh, he's on 406. Um, uh, production with 280 science and 117 culture definitely way ahead of Victoria uh, but uh, if you take a look at uh, military strength he is actually half almost half of the military strength that Victoria is benefiting from and I do see multiple coursers now getting up uh, to get a fight going uh, by England uh, we do have uh, also multiple encampments being put down by Bamaki. My intuition is saying he's gonna go for the tank push and he's gonna need a lot of um, production and of course uh, oil generation to go for this. I'm actually quite surprised we do see him um, uh, how to say uh, delaying this quite a bit going for scientific theory towards the north part I think gold might be an issue for them of course uh, looking at the, uh, the eel stab they don't have gold oh, actually wait they're losing gold what no they're actually making no they're not they're they're zero gold per turn Tirha minus 57 gold is putting so much of a pressure on their economy like that, that's exactly how much they're making. Now a little less because it just... Oh my god. 
Uh, five tenths for Fukuoka to get the Statue of Liberty in the World Congress. We did have anti cap units getting a plus five. Uh, Science City States uh, do not provide a unique Susan and bonus. Not that bad, actually. And uh, Tirhab did get the two Diplo points. Um, how is Japan? Uh, as in such a goal deficit, he never built harbors. Like, he never spent the production on the harbors now he's gonna start to get a few harbors down and you can see osaka is gonna get a plus four uh, we do we did have one a plus zero over here next to fukuoka that never actually built a lighthouse um yeah he, he never got those he never got those uh going looks like he's uh asking for a re-lobby okay is he gonna desync? That's that's my question. Is he actually gonna desync? He did it. Oh. Whatever, it's fine. Let's just get the reload be going. Let's go with it. <laughs> yeah, he spent that gold somewhere, you know. He went to the casino, man. He went to for the casino. I don't. Uh, who was the host? Who was the host? And to figure out who was the host. Uh, Novak? Was it Novak? Uh, I've done to watch a lot of team games, but now negative gold has to hurt when you don't have a super strong gold generation save. Yeah. It, it's exactly what you said it, it does hurt you quite a bit especially when it comes to um, upgrading your units and you want to get quite a bit of a bank to have the ability to upgrade units or um, try to be flexible uh, sometimes that's just not going to be an option if you're uh, going to be gold negative that hurts you quite a bit oh i see i see no oh. Yeah, I think I have a connection to every. Oh my god, I wanna, I wanna really wanna go to the bathroom. Okay, Tirhab joining, 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 joining. I'm gonna ready up, and when it's loading, I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom. Gonna get that going. I'm gonna get ready, ready. back
Let's see what's going on here in the game. Okay. Oh, oh man, that's such a relief. Okay, what do we have here? We got attacks coming up from Phoenicia. He's attacking into Russia's land. Looks like uh, we got uh, those calf cores managing to breach the defenses. Russia definitely needs uh, military science. He's uh, gonna get two turns to get it. Uh, he did manage, I think he did manage to uh, boost it, uh, kills the unit with a knight, I think he actually killed the unit with a knight, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, actually Novak might actually boost it for him next turn anyway, right, he's getting military science there. Yeah, and APL as well, okay. Uh, we do have uh, Phoenicia managing to see uh, the city of Smolensk is relatively um, easy to attack. While uh, we do have Vodero over here using that uh, faith pattern of 201, uh, getting more units. Uh, I do see St. Basil Cathedral also going to finish in St. Petersburg, giving him uh, that nice and juicy extra boost over boost all in the capital for production, for uh, food, for um, culture. We still don't have uh, Kree getting his uh, cities to the west out. Finally, he's getting a bank. Oh my god, let's see how much gold he's gonna get. So, he, check this out. Bamaki is on five gold. How much gold do you think he's gonna get from a bank? Anybody? Anybody? How much gold do you think he's gonna get from a bank? We're gonna see. He's gonna finish it next turn. We definitely need to check this out. I cannot believe I actually see right now. 80 gold <laughs> there we go we got we got somebody over here there we go mmc good evening sir yeah 80 gold well we'll see Let, let's check it out it's a three per bank right i want to oh, for, uh, per trade out i mean one two three four five six seven uh eight eight okay uh, okay well that's a bit short i think it's around 32 if it if it if it if it oh wait not all of the trade outs are actually going to this. The one is going to MTW. Who's MTW? What? Oh, wait. That's a city from uh, Phoenicia, right? He's going. Oh, don't tell me he actually went externals now. No, he went externals. Okay, so he has some internals and some externals. Man, he could have actually used uh, the bank so long ago. Uh, the bank is a bit changed when it comes to. Um, uh, how to say um, this one it's uh, plus two gold for each trade out from this city plus one gold for each trade out to this city uh, you do get a plus six uh, straight up oh it's uh, actually plus one uh, yeah plus one okay and he does uh, no trade out coming up from Mikisiv Wojcik no it's just all of the trade outs going towards Mikisiv Wojcik I don't know why I read a few days ago that uh, actually a bank does give more gold but anyway it's fine it's still gonna be extra gold coming up on those uh, let me see let me get the count here going. 80 gold is going to be a lot of gold for him. Okay, he ended up at zero. Okay, let's see. Is it 80 gold? Is it 80 gold? Wait, what? Nothing? Nothing moved? Not even the plus six? Okay, maybe it takes a while to update or something because <laughs> honestly, this does not make sense. Not even the base one? Okay, sure, the traders, but not even the base one? Oh man. Anyway, uh, we do have uh, the Bombard uh, that needs to keep on attacking against the city of Akkad. Bamaki here uh, would uh, definitely need to get the general there. Yeah, there we go. Some for some extra bonus damage. And the Corsair needs uh, to also keep on attacking against the city state of Akkad. Yeah, we do have uh, him actually benefiting from uh, about 500 production, 477. And I still don't see the gold <laughs> upgrade that he has nothing oh my god who would have thought? four yeah let me see saying four total gold <laughs> oh my god that must not be man that's not right how is it right right it does the uh, did the traders not register or something like what happened over here oh my god anyway yeah let's uh, take a look over here on uh, english uh, we got the shipyards coming out uh, finally he's gonna get some extra production he did manage to arrive to 200 science uh, 71 culture per 10 uh nope yeah that is great yeah that is great 
Mickey Wops, imagine. Uh, well, uh, there was a Mickey Wop at some point. I don't see the Mickey Wops. No, no Mickey Wops. He could have gotten one. Um, actually, he could have gotten quite a few of them with uh, extra gold, extra food, extra production, and so on. Yeah, for some reason, he didn't get them. Also, no. Good evening, sir. How are you doing, man? They should be everywhere. I agree. The Mickey Wops are amazing. I don't know why he didn't build them, but still no gold. Like wow, minus six gold. <gasps> Look how much gold they're losing. Did have on minus sixty six. We got Tamlin minus thirteen. Uh, Perit Pascal is only on thirty three. Wow. And now he's going against these um, coarser cores that are, are starting to turn into Cossacks. Much stronger reasons to go against. It's impossible for these uh, calf uh, cores to punch through. The Cossack defense is uh, gonna be strong with this one. The Jedi. We got, uh, okay, over here we got Tamlin coming up with a few calves of his own. He's probably going for helicopters here. As a lot of these, uh, look at the helicopters, uh, the uh, pre builds. Uh, he is on 217 science, going plastics in two, nationalism in four. Of course, uh, he does need to go towards synthetic materials if he wants the helicopter production, and he's gonna need a lot of uh, oil. At the moment, he's on the 14 oil. I'm not sure how much he's making per turn, but we're gonna find out right now. Let's see. Is it? Is it? Oh, four. That's a total of four oil a turn. That's not enough. Not enough. Oh my god, going negative. Can you imagine building banks and going negative? Negative. Does the bank work? Because honestly, it looks like the bank doesn't work. Wait. Let's see, pick Tonka. No, only 12 gold. What? Man, honestly, it looks like the bank doesn't work at all. Wow, okay, 16. What kind of cards is he using? Oh, 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 wait, he's even using Merchant Confederation. Okay, probably gonna legacy. He's going for the amenities. I think this one might not be that good at the moment. Liberalism. I uh, Yes, the extra amenity is nice, but he already has Colosseum, so. I th also, triangular trade uh, should be much better than uh, Con Merchant Confederation. I don't know why he's working Merchant Confederation. Let me see. Uh, that's uh, Bamaki, right? Bamaki is on 15 over here. So he's getting 15 gold from that and another 9 from this. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to have a Merchant Confederation. Uh, in Japan, bankrupt? Uh, it kind of looks like that. Minus 53 gold a turn. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Uh, he's also getting pushed hard, very hard by Persia. And this is, I gotta say, this is extremely hard for TVMT. Remember, TVMT is on the line over here. They need a win if they want to keep on the race uh, to be in the CWC. 100% they need a win, so it's a lot uh, standing on their shoulders right now. And uh, of course, uh, you do. You can imagine Les Ornithorings Roses also wants to get a few wins uh, in this tournament, so I'm pretty sure they're also going to be incentivized to uh, get a win here against uh, their opponents. Now, we do need to see if uh, Perch is going to manage to breach through the defenses of Japan with uh, Firgen, as I kind of doubt it, but at the same time, I kind of see how uh, th this can be uh, taken out, especially with the Bombard Corps coming up uh, next. Uh, I do see the generals are on Perch's side. But we do have a line infantry coming up from Japan. Uh, these are 80 strength units. Uh, of course, I still believe in the chances of these uh, Kurasir cores to be amazing. We're going to see um, uh, the moves coming up from both of them. Looking at... Uh, oh, by the way, Japan is not really bankrupt. He's 256 gold, so not really bankrupt. But I do see... They, there's no more gold on Les Ornithonics Roses. They, spay, they spent everything, so uh, Perja could actually get uh, his um, units out. And uh, Otsu is getting under attack. Oh man, this is just not enough strength. Perja is going to get Otsu and he's going to breach the defenses. We do have uh, Perja also uh, managing to uh, take a few pot shots on the strength of Okayama. With uh, you can see the scatter tile is allowing the bombard to actually directly shot uh, shoot at the city, and uh, it, it kind of depends how much he's uh, how good he's gonna time it because he can oh he can move and shoot by the way the movement is not gonna be there. Where is a general general? He needs to move. Uh, never mind. He's focusing on Otsu, so I guess we'll let him focus on Otsu. 
It's fine. That city state. That city is gonna go down. Japan is falling. Japan is falling. Woo -woo. We got planes coming up from. Oh my God! No tanks. He's actually going planes here. Okay, sure. Bamaki just went up to 68 gold. Let's actually take a look over here. What did he change? Not much. Uh, he, for some reason, he just jumped up. Okay. We do have him with a stock exchange coming up from Pitoka and uh, Piwi in. And uh, we do have all of those traders going towards the west side here. Okay, they're, they're starting to switch. Um, oh, that might be what happened. They are starting, he's starting to trade externally, not uh, internally anymore. Uh, John Surf, hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, looking on uh, Phoenicia, we do have him uh, pressuring the city of Smolensk with a frigate fleet. He is uh, starting to uh, take down that city's strength. While uh, I do see over here Votero trying to go through the middle tree now, metal casting. Uh, looks like Perit Pascal might actually take over that city or no. Uh, there is a chance. There is actually a chance of him taking over the city. I doubt it because of these Cossacks. Uh, and the Cossacks are uh, going to have a decent amount of strength uh, taking out these units. So if uh, there's going to be an attack on Smolensk, it needs to be fast and it needs to be now. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Vodero over here will overwhelm these uh, calves uh, relatively soon. In the next two to three turns probably now we do have a few korean units also appearing on the defense of lpqi um for Berit pascal just didn't build a new army or another army here uh, he didn't actually have the gold to work with and as you can see they're still struggling to get the goal going oh i see uh, petit pascal is uh, preferring to actually get pillages th rather than anything else okay makes sense Get the pillage, get the pillage, get the gold, get the gold. Okay, okay, okay. And of course, the smallest is uh, still under attack by a frigate. Great house is coming from Ainuk. Okay, let's see. A also, is going to be taken down this turn. We got uh, the first victim of the game here. Well, I should say the first uh, city taken over from an opponent. Uh, also from Japan. Interesting placement. Uh, Persia did manage to pressure through, and uh, Novak over here with his uh, 200 science, 111 culture. Uh, it did manage to be stronger than uh, Tirhab's um, Japan. Uh, Holy side Japan here with 146 and 140. I'm, you remember what I was saying about Holy Side Japan here? It's kind of... It's not really on the same level as um, Harbor Japan when it comes to everything, like production and everything. It tends to be quite slow. Uh, he did also go for the plantation path you know, instead of secret plants, so he didn't have a lot of faith to work with at the beginning. The, the tempo was just a little bit too slow. Um, that decision at the beginning of the game did cost him quite a bit we do have uh, england coming up with um, a few of these uh, piking shot cores i believe it's gonna be quite hard for him oh actually it's gonna be quite hard for kree to attack into england especially because uh, first of all statue of zeus is gonna allow england to build a lot of these piking shot cores and the piking shot cores did receive the plus five combat strength from uh, the resolution of the world congress if there will be an attack it's not gonna be now it's gonna be in the next um in the next um how to say uh, phase in the next session of the world congress uh we do have uh, bamaki actually managing to get that gold back at 93 gold per turn coming up from him getting the stock exchange in the capital is also getting some uh, commercial hub investments uh, for the extra gold he's gonna get there and i do believe maybe he's eyeballing oh there we go he wants the merchant there we go that's what he's doing he wants the merchant 100 percent wants the merchant uh, persia might be eyeballing this one as well but no he's actually going for uh, the army he's getting up for those uh, tanks yeah, he did manage to take down the city of Otsu from Japan. And you can see he's uh, starting to pressure in, uh, pressure Japan a little bit more uh, on the other cities. Uh, I'm not so certain he has the strength to push some more here. Especially with how many units Japan did manage to put on the table here. Uh, that was a uh, relatively hard city to defend. It was uh, The land was favoring much more Persia than it was favoring uh, the Japanese defense. Uh, now the tiles going into Okayama, everything is going to need to go through a two-tile choke with forests with hills with it's just not going to be the same uh, persia is going to have a, a very very hard time uh, pushing through that 
Uh, we do need to see also what's going on here. A few more purges coming up from Phoenicia. I do see uh, that commercial was uh, purged next to Smolens, while of course the frigate still gets uh, some uh, experience. Uh, Lorelei Marigold, thank you so much for the follow and uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're taking a look at the military academy. It's coming up from Novgorod. Uh, he's going to get the ability to uh, build a straight armies if he gets to that uh, civic and from what i can see he's uh, did manage to acquire 250 culture per turn that's not bad uh, the production is still with i would say tvmt it's just a tier hub lagging a little bit behind with his uh, straight up production but you do see bamaki on the 600 and we do have a uh, petit pascal also on 500 a lot more production than vodero is benefiting from the problem is what is he using that production for and at the moment i can't actually say he is using it for any kind of of uh, military which might be quite a problem especially if uh, and when these cossacks uh, get unhinged over here uh, this is gonna be quite a uh, how to say uh, quite a defense on the city of uh, lpqi uh, we do have uh, korea also killing up for the um, helicopter attack they did manage petit pascal did manage to pillage a decent amount of uh, gold coming up from his opponent here uh, which does mean we're gonna see all of these uh, korean uh, calves get upgraded into helicopters relatively soon unfortunately for him he doesn't have a lot of core up with oh uh, oh oh one two three four five okay six seven eight okay eight helicopters I'm actually very curious what is he gonna do here but uh, tamlin is gonna do a massive attack on uh, two fronts i don't think he's actually uh, gonna want to put a uh, open up a third front against uh, apiol but i am quite sure he's gonna go against uh, england here We got Russia managing to uh, take care of all of those camps uh, coming against him from uh, Phoenicia. And we do see now he's um, positioning all of his army to the south. He will have Cossack armies, very strong units. Uh, what do we have? Like 79 base uh, units. That's that's quite strong. Uh, but of course the calves um, turning into helicopters are going to be stronger. If you look at the helicopters over here. Uh, heli, heli, heli. Uh, let me see. Heli, heli, helicopters are uh, coming up with 86 milli strength. And these are just the uh, normal ones. If he manages to core them out, they're going to be 96 easy peasy. I'm actually uh, quite curious uh, what Tamlin is going to do with them. He's uh, going for his encampment projects. He's going for some more commercials. And we do see um, he's uh, going to go down under in the gold very quickly here with minus 53 at the moment. It's going to go uh, harder on him when he's going to start upgrading. Uh, chivalry, conscription, okay, rationalism. This one might be actually taken off. Uh, I don't think he needs it. Uh, and of course, uh, he's still working Merchant Confederation. Oh man, uh, how many trade routes does he have? Oh, he doesn't have a lot of trade routes, right? That's why he's not using the other one. Uh, I'm actually curious. Did Kree switch? I really hope he switched. No, he's still using Merchant Confederation. No, why, bro? Why? Triangular 3, much better. You have so many trade routes. Anyway, we got planes coming up over here from Kree. A bit of a. Um, mm, footnote over here i would like to say um usually it's very hard to go in into english territory with uh, planes because it does benefit from or it should benefit from uh, battleships uh, the battleships are extremely strong when it comes to the defense and uh, it's relatively easy for um, england to um, get a few quadrim uh, pre-builds uh, and uh, put them in the cities of course england does uh, usually prefer to stay on the coast so you do get uh, the ability to get those uh, into the cities uh, but it's not unheard of, uh, of the players not actually being, um, uh, how to say, uh, able to do that. We're gonna, I'm still quite a bit surprised um, Kree over here did not manage to get a lot of uh, 
units out or any units out. It doesn't have any units out. But anyway, in the meantime, you do see uh, we didn't have actually England getting that big. He's uh, on 186 size. He does have 800 military strength, but most of it is um, handling over there to the north. And it's a defensive uh, army, not actually an offensive one. Uh, he has a few boats in the water. And uh, finally, I finally I see Bamaki going of un over 100 gold. Uh, Bamaki looks like uh, he's uh, quite interested in also going uh, now towards steel. Ballistics coming up in one. He did put down two aerodromes from what I can see. A bit of a surprise here. He didn't finish his uh, encampment. I know why. It was the gold. They, they, they realized at some point of the, of the game that not going to have enough gold to upgrade Korea and uh, Korea into helicopters, of course, and uh, get him the tanks. It was just not a feasible strategy. So they just uh, said, okay, I'm going to stand by. I'm just not going to be an army. I'm going to try to get the goal for you. And that's exactly what he's doing. Also, he's trying to deny the... Um, uh, um, Diplo victory here, trying to get Potana Palace from uh, his city. Uh, that's actually a good one on him. He can use uh, that green card for extra advantages you've seen uh, you do get a decent amount of gold or influence uh, coming up from those cards it's uh, not a bad uh, not a bad wonder to use it's a uh, quite expensive though for the uh, benefits that it gets you we got more amphitheaters coming up from him uh, we got banks bank banks banks and he's on 140 gold finally of course they could uh, invest uh, on those helicopters so they are giving the gold to tamlin and he is upgrading first in mexico city uh, okay now is the moment of truth helicopters are stronger than the cossacks on their own territory Oof. well zinga anna anna where is anna we need anna Come on, Anna. We need to get here. Anna, come down to the south. Let's go, Anna. Okay, Anna Zinga arrive over there. Now the helicopters. Uh, oh my God, they're still doing a lot of damage. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Uh, well, you do see the Cossack army is 99 strength on the defense. Could be 101 without the penalty. So it, it is a bit stronger. We're gonna see Korea try to get in uh, towards the Russian cities. Uh, Russian cities are 73 garrison strength uh, on the defense. Not gonna be that hard. And of course, the more um, Russia is being forced to build units, uh, the less he's actually gonna put the production into the culture offense uh, we will probably gonna see those helicopters upgrade here and yeah they started moving to the east side not all of them though did get upgraded i do see there were a few of them wait there were more there weren't there like eight here oh he didn't upgrade all of them only three of them okay so he's not actually uh going for a big offense he's just going for uh, pillages okay interesting i think he would have been uh, quite successful here getting a lot more it's more of a matter of uh, gold and uh, priorities rather than anything at the moment and of course uh, korea doesn't benefit from a general that is another big problem uh, korea would need a decent amount of projects i think at least one project oh he's getting it in camel training project coming up from gyeongju He's gonna get it in two turns, that means he's gonna get uh, Rani Lakshmi by. Okay, helicopters, Heli -heli helicopters, let's see. When, when these guys are gonna core up, these Cossacks are not even gonna know what hit him. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We got a cat almost going down. Oh my god, Bamaki worked on this city for so long now. Uh, it's gonna go down at some point. Neighborhoods coming from Mascoto and Pikto Kahana Piwi in. I'm actually very curious why he did not, uh, why he's going for neighborhoods. I understand the extra, uh, how to say, um, 
the extra housing but you could get that just from uh, sewers and you get some uh, amenity as well i don't know why you would build uh, neighborhoods it's just a a way for your opponent to get the mission with the spy oh my god that's such a interesting mission by the way it's uh, so long since i've seen it because really nobody wants to build neighborhoods you know <laughs> they just want to go for um, anything else other than neighborhoods even cradles are better if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the recruit partisans mission it's a mission that gives you um that basically spawns the barbarian units in your opponent's lands <laughs> you get to troll him <laughs> Uh, Kree could be going for shopping malls. Yeah, that could be an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another one of those uh, buildings that we haven't seen in such a long time. Okay, let's see what uh, Tamlin is doing. Directly going for the city. He's not even gonna care about the Cossacks. Check this out. Yeah, he, he's not caring at all about the Cossacks. Pillages and cities. I'm quite curious because I don't see the damage here. Okay, it's 86 against uh, Novgorod. Uh, is that how I had barbs in my game when I had the no barbarian? Yes, yes, basically. Yeah, that's exactly why we did it. Recruit partisans. It's such, oh, such a bad, 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 bad event like i it's an apocalypse man it, it's so hard to deal with it's annoying <laughs> it's you know you need to keep units always uh in your cities and be careful with them oh my god they get to pillage everything they're strong they're so annoying i yeah i, I want to stop talking about them because i'm gonna get annoyed also. <laughs> i don't want to annoy everybody anyway let's see what's uh, going on over here we got um russia unfortunately she's starting to run out of units uh, all of the helicopters in, uh, from korea going towards moscow is dragging all of his army to the west side and you do see actually tamlin has a way of attacking into the cossacks and dealing massive amounts of damage uh and i do believe uh, tamlin uh, cannot be attacked back yeah even with the cossack army's full strength he cannot be attacked back into the helicopter helicopters uh, properly it's a uh, 96 against 93 of the helicopter uh, and that's uh, well that's gonna be much tougher on the hills over here 96 against 98 uh, we do have a gg being called out by april so oh may change throughout we the do have to Vermont Tsingi keeping a hold of the Tsingi tonight and they do have an extra point coming up uh, um, comparing to Les Sumer Rangers they're fighting for that fifth slot over there uh, from the CBFR squadrons and of course we do need to see if they're gonna get that chance Les Sumer Rangers has one uh, or a few more games to go I, I believe actually it's two more games to go uh, they're gonna need to fight uh, Lucky Nuke in this week and then we're gonna see the results we're gonna um, we might actually see in the playoffs uh, some form of um uh tiebreaker going on uh, looking at what has been transpiring throughout the game of massive 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 advantage coming up from tamlin and now with um monasticism he did manage to get a lot of uh, science going and uh looks like well whoa Oh, wait. I don't know why I put the... Let me actually go into the channels here. A bit of a disclaimer over here. We're in the CBFR squadrons. We will hear a lot of French. Uh, but I do want to be, uh, you know, have patience, hear about uh, their opinions. And if you do have the chat, uh, the op option uh, to ask them a few questions in English, it would be amazing. Uh, one of the things is who lost a settler. So let's go in. GG, well played. <rire> J'étais en train de criser. Hein. Mais tu sais qu'en plus j'ai turbo troll parce que en gros j'allais. totalement prêt. Je savais que t'allais venir. Genre j'étais là. Je suis censé en avoir trois fois ça. Et j'ai retourné. Là. Where was the golden cree? Where was the golden cree? Like was this the gold is... on, the, on, the, on the map. <laughs> yeah, where is the gold on the map? Nobody was making gold. <laughs> like what? What is this? <laughs> Mamonkey big production, but no gold. 
no, it didn't want to uh, it didn't want to to go for a trade war with uh, Japan. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Oh. You could have helped me quite a bit, I think. Yeah, he, he, he traded with uh, Phoenicia uh, with him. Yeah, yeah, but uh, he didn't want to trade and to help me because uh, he's I mean, uh, such a, a bad guy. But he protected the uh, Tsingi. This was all protect the Tsingi, right? Yes. Exactly. So he got the Tsingi going. Uh, one big question. I Neither me or Paul did not figure out who lost the settler. Uh, personally, I don't. Yeah, nobody lost the settler. Nobody. Oh, yeah, we, nobody. We, had a, yeah. we had at some point a notification. Somebody lost a settler on the map and it showed around uh, Phoenicia. If you clicked on the notification. Mm. I mean, so someone yeah. could hide, hide to his team that he lost a settler, but nobody oh, would hide that he took a settler, so... <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, I see. The ninja settler. Okay, I understand. Ah, <laughs> I think uh, nobody uh, lost a settler. Yeah, <laughs> okay, nobody because... lost a settler. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> question for the Russian player. Uh, the denial of the world, uh, was it worse to, to real myself for this fight? Uh, I don't know. I had some difficulties in the early game with my pop, but uh, it was okay otherwise. Ok. Ouais, je pense que si ça te ralentit, c'est bien de le prendre. En plus, c'est pas, de... pas nul sur le Japon, donc... Euh... Non, ah, la bêtise... Uh, les gars, parlons anglais. Ah, ouais. This settling uh, mostly on... not on Tundra, I think it's, it's yeah. kinda ok. Ok, ok. okay. Of water, uh, most of the... all, my, all my cities was uh, almost on grassland. Because uh, I was only on B2 to, to do it. No, the mistake was to for me to make one uh, one project uh, or two or two projects. Oh right! Mm. Oh my I god! You discovered something. Too. I know, no, but he two, discovered no? a tech or a civic, and the project went from yeah. two turns yeah. to three turns. And oh my yes, god, that messed yeah. him up so badly. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have uh, have done the projects at all. I should uh, just have wait for the religion and not uh, care about. Because uh... the moment I saw you, some projects, uh, I did some project too. Because uh, if you project uh, as Russia, it's because it's mandatory. Uh... Yeah, but. I don't know. Yeah. Just, uh... You didn't think about Coral and go and go only Samurai uh, mm. on me? Uh, no, because oh. the chokes were, uh, were quite. Uh, yeah, but I'm on Sronka, uh, and you could. Yeah, uh, but uh, I think you, you can go easily on, on me. Uh, I, I cannot yeah. disrespect, disrespect you because I, I had to kill the blue CS, the blue city states, and uh, I had no no units uh, in front uh, of strokes. So uh, yeah, yeah, but it's quite quite slow, and we I don't know. Maybe. Oh, what did you send your your horses, uh, Titeb? I didn't didn't see. Horses? Oh no. There there were to, to so many uh, knights. I couldn't do uh, a yeah. thing. And uh, t to come back on the on the Malone, I was uh, expecting to beat like two or three times the what what I did. But uh, as I was uh, close to not having my my golden, I I pre locked the tech and I was waiting to, to count. To continue if uh, if I could have it without the Malone and yes I could have it but I forgot to to change the tech so I was pretty upset. We were uh, if you, if you wondering would... uh, between uh, banning Lotharo and uh, Hungary, would you have picked uh, Hungary if it was open? I don't think. I don't think so. Okay. If you delay if you delay the delayed uh, Malone. Uh... There will be one u one unit per tile. Oh. In the uh, end, it, yes, it but wasn't I would so just bad have gone to, somewhere to get else, it no? at this time. Yeah, on me it was quite open as well. Uh, I would have just run below you, then uh, to 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 Japan two, then I would have ended up. Japan in, would have uh, one, one unit per tile too. So just oh, uh, they go, I managed they go, to pH they go uh, ev everywhere. <laughs> so with one malon uh, really late. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, uh, I I was supposed to have like maybe five more in two turns, 
maybe maybe six or seven but yeah you you will have more more pikemen but uh your your land is quite large so mm, not a single uh, I have a lot of production not a single what uh, camp. Camp oh. Ah no, cool. yes, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, oh. he had, uh, and oh, he had a really, really flat uh, to know. There is a truth. Did you plan to go for uh, an attack on uh, Russia with uh, Hawachas, or uh, the second you realized you were going to get pushed by Malons, you just uh, focus on that? No, 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 watch out, because uh, uh, my second Golden Age was pretty hard to do. Yeah. Because we did, uh, we did, um, uh, World, uh, World Tour. World Tour. Oh, yeah, Sorry. World Turn uh, in the first era. So I wanted to try uh, Mona Monarchist. Because mm -hmm. uh, I saw Astikos do did it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty strong and helicopters are broken as fuck so yeah yeah now you're taking down those horse sacks like their paper it's uh, unbelievable not even coring up your units uh, no it's uh, this unit is stupid yeah wish i was about to so, be touched, uh, by me after the and Apple uh, delayed me a lot. Huh? I bad. think I could have uh, I could have uh, helicopter way sooner uh, if yeah, he that, didn't that come with, uh, his, with his man. We knew you were going for this play, so... Yeah, but it's pro it was pretty obvious, but... Uh... I was surprised you got the gold for it. Uh, so little gold. You're bleeding gold at Thanks some point. You're negative. <laughs> Thanks to Dido. <laughs> Thanks to Dido. Yeah. We pillaged a lot, and uh, I was supposed to to pillage too to f uh, to upgrade the rest of my cavalry. Yeah, and uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, feed the team after that. Plus, I would uh, I would take a settler to Orancy. Uh, <laughs> uh, see if the game uh, oh, yes. if we continue the game. To escape yep. one. Well, okay. I'm just trying to to run away. But uh, I know I can't. Why don't uh, go on the water, on the sea, instead of inland? To go straight to, and you could uh, do the the most part of uh, by going in the right side by the water. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, was it an escape or? Uh... Yeah, it was an escape. This is it was. Mm. Well, you don't know it, but you're going directly into helicopters. Mm. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking it was. I had three helicopters coming uh, to, in, to England. Uh. Yeah. No. Just here. Did you do. Uh, uh, T'as fait une libre pensée au deuxième heure ou pas J'ai pas fait gaffe. Inquiry. Non. Inquiry. Ah, ok. I think uh, you, you must do Inquiry. It brings you so much science. You will be low culture, but uh, your purpose is just to, to to gain the most time, I believe. Un petit peu. As you can, uh, you can trade uh, with uh, another player. Il y a eu du drama chez euh, Ulysse. Uh, uh, I'm dead anyway on my yes. position, so. Yeah, but uh, you can, uh, if you go Frinkery, you can, uh, you can uh, survive uh, way longer, I think. Donc, it doesn't change. Uh, Maybe yeah, if you eat thing, some yeah. units earlier, you can uh, go on uh, Gris ou Grid on the top, uh, yeah. top uh, oh. side of. Uh, Imagine you, yes. send, you send Corsair or Cavalry at the same time uh, there is Malone on the map also, you can, uh, can do a lot of damage. The, the only one I can Corsair or Cavalry is probably Korea. Yeah. Because of strokes on Dido uh, and Entry. Send uh, four, 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 four. And I'm... Uh, Plus Malone, I'm uh, in uh, deep shit. 
Um, question, uh, during, for the first map, uh, did what remap? did you remap? Because uh, on our side it was because we were only on one continent. Uh, we got two continents, only two. And yes. uh, the, Russia, the Russia Tundra was flat. Ah, okay. Was the really Russia flat. was playing Lake. The Russian spawn mm. was really good on the first map, guys. Yes. Persian no flesh was, uh, water full also. of chop. Okay. Because Persia only had two cities. And the right and the Persian uh, spawn was just uh, so stupid. Yeah. Yes. It was. <laughs> I was not <on> that sad. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good spawn, but we had only one continent and few space to settle. For the first yes, time. and the the Cree was on the no the Korea was uh, England. England. Yeah. But you, you can't know it, but uh, yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and on the first map, it was really weird. It will be uh, kinda crazy if I discover uh, England and my sea. Yeah. The, the, uh, the Korea spawn. It's better than the VT timing on, on Korea. Yeah, but no, no on me words. <laughs> no on me words. Yeah, yeah, sure. It just put okay, us. Okay. Scout, uh, scout plus ga galley in uh, in the sea and uh, yeah, I don't need the yeah yeah. yeah. Anyway, thank you for the cast and uh, did you? Did you yes, well play you? Well thank right. you for the long guys. It was a great game to watch. Good evening. It's uh, Tita birthday uh, today. Yes. So we did see TVMT managing to get snatch a CC away from their opponents over here. Let's only turn roses. Uh, we did see some awesome uh, tactics over here coming up from a uh, Korea. Monastic is coming in. Monasticism, of course, coming up for Korea in the second era. He did manage to get a lot of science going, but he was fighting Mapuche's man or raiders coming against him. Uh, he was pillaged quite a bit and uh, did suffer a lot. Uh, we also were quite of a, you know, question mark. Uh, um, why did Creed go on down under with the gold? Uh, finally, he did manage to get back up. Uh, he's on 150 gold right now, going for more stock exchanges and even building big Ben. We do have him uh, putting down a lot of aerodromes and he would have been uh, taking over uh, England uh, soon enough. Uh, we did have England trying to defend himself a little bit, trying to go for some uh, battleships and uh, you do see... Um, Victoria over here uh, did have uh, 215 signs, but still not enough uh, to get them a victory. Uh, we will need to see also tomorrow a game coming up from La Table Ronde going against uh, Sans Banana in the CPL Premier this time. Um, I will put up an announcement on my Discord, by the way, if you, if you don't know about it, would um, uh, kindly invite you to go and join my Discord. Uh, we do have... Um, a channel over here that is keeping up to date all of the schedule that I have also you get the schedule on Twitch as well um, over here in um, on every week I do try to put the upcoming games and of course uh, you do see uh, uh, the hour the teams and the tournament and of course um, the day of the tournament uh, exclamation mark discord and we're gonna get the invite there we go there we go I'm, I'm, um, if you're also coming up from uh, YouTube, I do hope you enjoy the content, uh, throw this uh, thumbs up please and of course uh, leave a comment down below if you do want to ask me something or you do find something interesting around the game, about the game. Uh, thank you for joining and I do hope we're going to see each other in the next game uh, tomorrow, Sas Banana going against... Um uh, La Table Ronde uh, coming up uh, 18 and 30 GMT on Friday. I do hope uh, we're gonna have an awesome game tomorrow. Of course, a uh, big boy is coming up in the CPL Premier in the first in the Premier Division. Have a good uh, evening and thank you so much for uh, joining us. Uh, Tomahawk, hey, thank you, thank you, sir. Cheers, cheers, and uh, I do hope you're gonna enjoy the next games as well. Bye bye.